I want to try and find 13 different people that all need exorcisms. But then she comes back and looks at me and she goes, they like you, and then runs <laughs> away. But then the city went crazy because there's ghosts here. And we had something called a turkey vulture fly directly into the side of the motorhome. We both cried. And looked through this like little peephole. And right underneath my room, there's a room just full of dolls. <laughs> what? Yeah. The shadow figure was just as close as here. The board gets more crazy and makes my mom's hands go back and forth very fast, spelling out, call back. And I could weirdly see its eyes and like, a, like it cut out the white part of its eyes. And I found myself in a trance. I'm looking up Irish demons and they pretty much tell me that I'm going against God for ghost yeah. hunting. <laughs> all right. Hi everyone. Thank you. Seriously, appreciate you all coming out here and uh, and being here tonight. Yeah, seriously. We are we are live uh, for everyone that's listening, doesn't know where we are. We're live from Pythian Castle in Springfield, Missouri. Yep. A place that was not intentionally or ever originally designed to be on this tour, but when we came here, we loved it that much mm -hmm. that we decided to not only add this theater to the tour, but we have so much more to see because we're doing an investigation here tonight as well. Yeah. So we have quite a few friends that are waiting for us here that we're excited, very excited to talk to again tonight. Oh yeah, I'm very, I'm very excited to investigate tonight. I think, I mean, dude, what we did last time we were here, I feel like that definitely might have spike some activity up in what, a way. bringing 13 dipping boxes into a house yeah we didn't then, open yeah. any of them we just brought them in here yeah we just brought the energy here yeah exactly you know? they just lived here for a little bit and then came with us does anyone here think i crossed the line bringing uh, 13 dipping boxes into a location everyone cheer yeah. Yeah. oh no no <laughs> no no you're supposed to say yeah hold on if you think Corey's wrong boo <laughs> yes all right if you think i was wrong also boo Oh, dude, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you weren't... Okay, it wasn't wrong. It's just scary. It's scary to play with stuff like that, even though we are safe. Yeah. You know, we are protected. We know what to do, and... Sort of. We have a lot of friends that bless us, and... Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> then, you, then you've got me that unblesses us every time we go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we talked about this the other day, but I just have to bring it up again. Every time we leave... An investigation, any haunted building, I always say, you do not have permission to follow me. Because normally that means that they're going to stay and they can't follow you. But Elton, like this is all off camera, guys. Like we're about to get in the RV and leave. And I go, you do not have permission to follow me. And Elton goes, but you can follow me. Mm -hmm. and, then I, and then I hold his hand and I go, take my other one, little demon. <laughs> Let's just gather. <laughs> Let's just skip into the darkness together. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's great. I love it. It's, I it's, love a, it. it's a very fun dynamic that we have. I do, I do like it because as you've, uh, allowed me to do crazier things and you become less scared you never got to, like we never matched at level so as you get less scared i get more demonic yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> you know it's not a seesaw we're like we're ever gonna hit zero we're just keep going up that is we true just keep raising the stakes higher and higher and higher yeah and i don't really know what we're gonna do i mean i after 13 dibic boxes and then we've had tons of people ship us haunted items that's what you're seeing in that museum that we have outside most of you no, actually, none of you know what those items are unless you actually sent me one of them. Yeah. But those items are really cool. So we're trying to figure out, like, where to go next. I have one idea. <laughs> wait, I actually have... Wait, can I workshop an idea? <laughs> I would love to hear it can as I well, yes. Can I workshop an idea for you all? Okay, so I have this <laughs> outlandish idea that I want to try, and I think it would work, but I'm also curious to know if any of you would go. So... You can take items in theory, and items can be turned into haunted items, right? You can make a divic box. You can extract something and put it in a box and seal it away. Yeah. We know that houses can be haunted. Mm -hmm. We've been to the poltergeist house in the United Kingdom, where we actually believe that it's not the items within the house or a spirit within the house. We actually think it's the fabric. Yeah. The fabric of the house, the wood, the bolts, the screws, the framing, the concrete that is itself haunted. Yeah. So what I want to try and do is I want to try and find a house that has absolutely no history of being haunted, nothing. And I wanna bring in like 10 different paranormal teams and I wanna make sure that all 10 teams come in and everyone's like, yeah, we got nothing. Maybe a thing here or there, but no one can go, it's a haunted house. And what I wanna try and do is, 
I want to try and find 13 different people that all need exorcisms. And by one, by one, by one, I want to bring him to that house, perform the exorcism in the house, and make sure that the house is sealed, then do an investigation again. See if it's haunted. Do it two times. Investigate again. Three, four, five. Get to 13 different exorcisms within one house and see if you actually can make something haunted. And then from there, we seal it with wax. All the windows. <laughs> the, the house? Yeah, the we fire marshal's like, you can't do that. <laughs> but I want to try and create a Dybbuk house. Oh, my god! And then from there, we take all the haunted items that we have, and we bring them all in the house behind, like, plexiglass. Yeah. And we see if it is scientifically, like, actually do this as a scientific experiment and see if it's possible to create a haunted house. I think it would work. Do you think it would work? Does anyone here think it would work? Like, I want to make a documentary about this. Like, this will probably take two years to do. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's people that need exorcisms all over the world. You fly them in. Um, you know yeah. what I mean? Just, I just don't go on the fly mall spirit airline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> you can't make that flight any worse. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a good one, actually. So I think I, I really want to try and do that in like just a regular old. Would anyone stay the night in that house? What? Wait, audibly, audibly. Would anyone give me a woo if you'd stay in the house? Uh, yeah, give me a woo if you would like book the Airbnb, but like not tell your friend it's haunted and just to see what happens to them. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You're going to do this. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Dude. You're going to do this. I want to buy. I want to straight up just buy. Like if I, if I go through the whole house and we find out it's not haunted, mm -hmm. I want to be like, cool, I'm going to buy it. And I want to commit that hard to the idea. Wow. And then even if it doesn't work right and it never ends up haunted, then I guess you just sell the house in like two years or whatever. Yeah, or, or you could make like a like a spiritual like ghost version of Love Island. Wait, you know? hold on, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna put my mic down. And I'm just gonna listen. Okay, no. So think about this, right? <laughs> Let's say you have like five good spirits and you have like five bad spirits, right? And you put them all in a house together. And then by the end of the season, if any of the good spirits and bad spirits end up coupling up, then America gets to vote who their favorite couple is. <laughs> what we're gonna plot. <laughs> Thank Dude, you. Dude, you realize how easy of a job that is for the camera guys? They can point at anything. <laughs> they can't, they're just shooting up there, dude. <laughs> it's just constant B-roll. It's just, yeah, there's no, it's just a locked off tripod with nothing in frame. But wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but the subtitles of the whole show. <laughs> it's just subtitles. Yo. And cat balls. And cat balls. Subtitles and cat balls. Well, yeah. that's, yeah. That's, that, no, that's the challenge. That's too hot to handle. With a <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right about that. Oh, I'd man. watch that show. Like yeah. coupling up spirits, you know what I mean? Like, think about it. If there's any single spirits out there, I'm sure they want to be in a relationship. Oh, my God. We did hear Patty talk a little bit about uh, ghost sex. That was a thing. Oh, but yes. Yeah, thing. We're, not, we're not going down that We're route. not going to talk about we're that. We're not going to go down that route right now. But we now. have heard about that. But we have heard about it, which is a very interesting thing. I didn't think that that was real. Why? You've had your pocket pulled. Well, I mean, they and were that, hitting on me. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, but they didn't like kiss my cheek or anything. I mean, maybe if you gave him consent, if you were like, "Hey, follow me home." <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, because you. That's have... why I'm always saying it. Sorry, Ginger. <laughs> I'm just like, come on, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to kiss on the cheek to go night night. <laughs> Wait, could you imagine you're sleeping in the middle of the night? You just feel like a little peck, and you're like, "Thanks, Ginger." So, um, yeah, Pith Pithian Castle. It's a really, it's a really cool place. We are shortly uh, actually going to bring up Tamara, who is the owner of this location. I think that's really cool to bring th this entire podcast. Everything mm -hmm. that we're doing here is about hearing stories, just paranormal stories, because we believe, not believe, I honestly like know. I think I know for a fact now that people have stories that they just are unwilling to share or feel uncomfortable to share. And we want to help break down that wall because this has always been like a taboo subject. It's always been kind of an uncomfortable thing where you almost feel like you need to like pry these, these experiences out of people. And I, I feel like it's fair to like a majority of people here have had something happen. And that's what we want to create. We want to create this safe, open space where you all can talk about your stories. And truly, I hope everyone here, you're all kind of from the same area. I hope you can make friends, find ghost hunting partners. Like, 
you know, figure it out and kind of like hang out with each other. That's why we're doing this live instead of just, you know, pitching Ghost Love Island <laughs> from our bedroom at home. <laughs> we're doing this here so you guys can also get the chance to meet each other. Yeah, seriously. It's, it's all about like building the community. It's, it's crazy how many people are like, and I don't know why. I've never been embarrassed about it, but a lot of people are embarrassed to talk about their ghost experiences to talk about like believing in ghosts. Like there's been a lot of times where I've met like a lot of dudes like my age and you know, they don't know what I do. And they're like, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I ghost hunt. And they're like, oh, you ghost hunt. Oh, you got your ghosts. And then a lot of the guys will leave, but then one dude will stay. And he's like, so you want to hear something that happened to me? And then he'll tell me his story, but he doesn't tell me his story until his friends leave. For some reason he's embarrassed. And like, I think it's great that like this, this entire room, everybody believes in ghosts. Yeah, I'm assuming. But I'm sure a lot of people are scared to talk about that with random people, right? Question, is there anyone here who blatantly does not believe in ghosts? Who's just like, not like a skeptic, like someone who's just like, this is not possible, it's not real. All right, cool. I was going to have to break someone's spirit. Oh, wait. Oh, sir, back there. Whoa. You 100%. I didn't want to be the guy. <laughs> I'm just a skeptic, but my daughter loves you guys, so here we are. Wait, cool. skept a skeptic means like you're skeptical, but it doesn't mean you're affirmatively saying this does not exist. Correct. You, it's okay. So you, you think there could be? Yeah. Okay. Are you saying that because you're with your daughter and you don't want to break her heart? Yeah. That's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I <laughs> okay, cool. I was just kind of curious to like know like if anyone came who just like there's no possible way because I feel like if you have that stance, you probably have some form of a of an education, you know, to back that, and that'd be a yeah. really fun person to talk to. Yeah. So one day we'll get that. Are you are you skeptic? Yeah, I'm skeptic believer. I think that is the the proper term would be skeptic believer. Yeah, I think as the years have gone by, though, you're believing. Oh yeah, a lot for sure. It, it, yeah. it is uh, without any doubt shifted significantly more. Like it was probably originally like one percent belief, you know, ninety percent no way. This is just you're scaring yourself. Yeah. And then as we've gone on and more things that have happened and more like technological things that have happened that like we literally cannot debunk with like the best professionals that we can get a hold of in LA where like there's audio engineers galore and no one can explain why that would happen. I've reached out to people that work at the manufacturers of the cameras that we own. Mm -hmm. And they're like, we don't know what that is. We've never seen that. So at a certain point you have to go, okay, yeah, let's give this a benefit of the doubt. And I think that's where it became even more fun too. Yeah. It kind of, it makes you believe yeah. because there, there is no answer. And when you're hearing something or you're seeing something that you don't have an answer to, it just I don't, it makes you just more curious about it. You know yeah. what I mean? It's fun. Should we let's let's maybe talk about a weird little uh, uh, an omen that maybe is happening? Hmm. Uh, what happened on your flight today? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I almost didn't make it here today. Um, got to the airport, and turns out uh, a bird hit my plane. So I had to get a whole new plane. But it's just very weird timing because. Do you want to explain what's going on with the bird stuff right now? Sure, but I also want to say that a, a pilot being like, hey, we can't take off because a bird hit the plane is like a pilot trying to find any excuse to like <laughs> not go to work that day. <laughs> He's like, yeah, the pigeon hit the hit the feather in the wing. Is his dog. I just don't want to oh, do this. I ran. Sorry, boss. I ran over a snail. <laughs> so, can't make it into work. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, apparently we found this out just a few nights ago, and I, I genuinely didn't know this, that a bird hitting glass or a window is an omen or a sign that someone's going to die. And I didn't know this. I just saw a couple people look at each other like a bird just hit our car windshield on the way here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, so I, I didn't know that. And uh, going backwards a little bit, the, the 13 Dybbuk boxes that, were, that, are, that are here on display and all that, that stuff, we opened them all at the Sally House. And upon leaving the Sally House, we had to drive back. We actually had to rush back with the motorhome because that's when we found out about the Warren Museum. So we had to just drive, I don't know, 28 hours straight, nonstop. Yeah. And it's windy. It's like some of the more dangerous driving we've ever done. And we had something called a turkey vulture, which is like a 45, 50 pound bird just fly directly into the side of the motorhome to a point where it like crushed 
the side of the motorhome where we couldn't get like our storage doors open. And this is like two hours after like opening those boxes. I've driven that motorhome 50,000 miles and we've never even hit like a spare like tire mm-hmm. on the road. Like we've never had anything like that happen. And I had no idea about that. And now you have a bird taking your plane out. Yeah. But So you can't fly. Yeah. And now we're like, oh, it's just weird that it happened on the flight coming to here. Yeah, the you same I mean? exact place. Exactly. That like they were debuted, for example. So it's this like weird story that we're like, and you're almost 27. So stop. What, dude? What was that supposed to mean? I mean, you know, <laughs> no. What, dude? What? How old are you? Well, I'm about to turn 27 next month. Yeah, dude. Okay. Well, we got lots of birds trying to. T- <laughs> I know, but we are going to pray together. <laughs> Ready, everyone? Put your hands like this. Everyone, now open your hands super, super wide. That's it. We ended it. Cool. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> didn't even get to do it. No. Thank you. Oh, wait. That's kind of how the videos are. Yeah. In a way. I'm like, hey, let's do something safe. And then mm-hmm. you're like, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> do I become country? Yeah. Just a sassy country guy? Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. So we have some stories. Yes. That uh, we can probably read right now. So if you don't know, everyone had a ticket. We, we sent you out a form and said, hey, um, submit a story, uh, an experience that you've had, because that's what we really want to hear. We love hearing about people's stories. So Corey has picked one. I picked one. And then there's two others as well. Uh, so we're going to read the stories, and then we're going to ask them to uh, join us up here so we can learn a little bit more about what happened. Yeah, so I'm having the hardest time getting the paper out. Of my <laughs> we can hear it's it. It's like... <laughs> Uh, should I read the name? Uh, not yet. Just read, read, read the story, I guess. Or you read okay. the name. Do what you want. Oh. Okay. You want me to be dramatic with it? What do you want? Do you, would you like Corey to be dramatic? Okay. Dramatic. Okay. So like. Not British. Please don't do serious it. Serious do dramatic it. or like British dramatic. <laughs> I've never even heard of serious dramatic, but they all said British. I think they all said British dramatic. Okay. I'll just, only this one will be a British. You know, when we bring this tour to the UK. You're going to... I'm going uh, <laughs> 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 no, to... Dude, they right. love me there. Dude, when I go to the UK, they're like, say the biscuit thing <laughs> every time. I swear. Is that what they sound like when they say that to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Ready? Yes. Actually, don't know what the story is, so... I've always believed in the paranormal... I want to remind you, you asked for this. I am not to blame for what has happened. Growing up, I've been very sensitive to other worry things. Is every letter a W? I would (laughs) say the scariest recent thing to happen to me was back in late May. Wait, hold on, pause. I does, anyone hate actually, to- does anyone actually know what he's saying right now? Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> one, per- yeah, see? one person. See? Two people. Two people know what you're saying right now. I have no idea what you're saying. Fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> can, can I read my story? Uh, read your story, and then I might need to reread it after. <laughs> they can understand. I do the same thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm even worse. <laughs> They can understand me perfectly fine. <laughs> I had just moved in with me cousin on our own together. One night, I was sleeping in me room. I'm saying me <laughs> instead of my. I was like, wait, you just this might actually be written by someone from Britain. <laughs> <laughs> no, they wrote my, but okay. yeah. I was sweeping. Sweeping? <laughs> <laughs> I was cleaning my room. Okay, no, they were asleep, okay? Okay, I was sleeping in my room, and I heard footsteps coming to my room. So I assumed it was me cousin coming to ask me something. I swear on everything I saw, her exact silhouette walk into my room and walk up to my bed, looking down into me eyes <laughs> as if she was checking to see if I was awake. I was half asleep, so I just went back to sleep. That's a bar. That's a song right there. I was half asleep, so I went back to sleep. Okay. <laughs> 
thinking. Hold on, your third ghost, your third ghost story. Yeah, you gotta wrap it. <laughs> Yeah, it's just ghost stories by the game. <laughs> just that's what we, that's pretty okay. I'll six, do that. Six nine reading ghost stories. <laughs> I can six, do six, that. Six, six, nine reading ghost stories. Six 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 nine. Carry on, ignore wow. me. Wow. Okay. Um. Where was I? I was half asleep, <laughs> so I just went back to sleep. That is a bar. I love that. <laughs> Thinking nothing of it. Until the next morning when I had asked her why she came into my room, she told me she was asleep and actually had gone to bed before I did. Wait, can I just pause? Was it, I'm seeing the weirdest mouth angle you could ever imagine. <laughs> can you please just like turn this way and just move the mouth and just literally just concentrate on his mouth? It is okay. so funny. This was your first experience with a doppelganger and definitely made me believe in them. I can't wait to be in the UK. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, does anyone know actually what that story was? <laughs> Okay, so long story short, they were sleeping, thought their cousin came in. It wasn't their cousin. Their cousin was asleep. They saw a doppelganger. Okay. Yep. Cool. This is actually something we recently learned about, isn't it? Doppelgangers? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Wait, should we bring them on stage to talk about this? <gasps> Ooh, we should. Do it. Bring them we on stage. We should. Okay, Isabella, are you... Oh! oh wow. Come on down. Come on. Give a, give a born, big boy welcome. <laughs> Everyone the, chant it. Fit. Isa, 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 Isa. Isa, Isa, Isa. Yeah, that mic is all yours. Uh, one request though, British accent only. For real? Yep. Can you do that? Can you do it? Uh, hold yeah. the mic up to like right about here. Yeah. Like flat. Right here. So you want to be speaking into the top no. of the mic. Yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> <laughs> how you doing? Good. How are you? Okay, this is good. Oh, that's oh better than mine. God. Why? That's that's like a real accent. Oh. Yeah. Mine is more of just like a kiki boku. This is like a baby Brit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> baby wobble. <laughs> baby baby wobble be for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. definitely, hundred percent. So tell tell us about this uh this story and this doppelganger. Basically, I just was going to bed. I was sleeping. It was like three in the morning, I think. Of course. Mm. Always happens. My house is actually pretty haunted and we've seen like people in there and stuff. And I just always had a weird vibe until like one night I was just, like I said, sleeping. And then like I heard her walking into my room and I thought she was just going to ask me something, ask me a question. Nope. <laughs> she just looked at me and then walked out and I was like, hey, what did you want? And then she was like, oh, I didn't even come in your room. And then I freaked out really bad. And to find freaked out really bad. <laughs> yeah, you, what what can exactly? Can you reenact you it? <laughs> I don't even remember. I just I cleansed my house so fast. Yeah, did you? Oh, so you like were stage? sweeping. You were right. <laughs> oh, sweeping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So was I was right. Yeah, you were right. I was right. I uh, have not really slept alone since then. I sleep with someone in my bed every single night. Basically. Wait, really? Yeah. How long ago was this? Uh, it was back in like late May, early June, maybe. Of this year? Yeah. Okay. No way. So for the yeah. last few months, you it scared you enough where you have to sleep with someone else? Yeah. Like, I, I've i experienced things my entire life. I've seen things my whole life. I never really believed in doppelgangers just because I hadn't seen one. But, like, until this moment, <laughs> oh, God, it was so scary. I just, I, mm -mm. I was like, nope, uh, no, sleeping in a bed with somebody. We didn't know too much about doppelgangers until honestly it was kind of more recent because there's been investigations we've been on where we would hear either you know you or me or Matt or Corbin someone that's with us we would hear them talking but they didn't talk and so we would be told that was their doppelganger spirit or you know a spirit imitating them to try to trick us. You thought you had a conversation with me at Bluckley Village in the graveyard. Oh my God! You, that's you right. thought that I was like you're out of your mind, dude. I was like nowhere, nowhere near you whatsoever. I'm like it definitely wasn't me. And then we found out like a year later that this is a a, a real thing. Yeah, I did not like. I always seen it in movies and stuff, but I didn't really like. Like I said, I never ran into it. Never heard people's stories about it that much. 
and to like literally that i mean like i always heard my mom say my name and she wasn't there <laughs> mm -hmm. and i always heard people say my name they weren't there and i just brushed it off until this and now i'm like terrified <laughs> and second guess everybody i see <laughs> that comes in my room wow, wow. yeah so it's who, like terrifying who is predominantly like sharing the, the bed with you is it like a family member is it like a friend like <laughs> It's just my whoa, friend. Wait, I was like, whoa, I don't know. What was so funny there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just invite my friend over. Oh, really? Literally, she basically lives with me at this point now. <laughs> is she like over it? She's like, come on, I need to go home. Oh, no. no. She, she sees it too. She's experienced what? it too. That's what I was going to ask. Has anything happened to her? Oh, yeah. Many people, like other people that have come into my house have seen things. Like my sister, she was just over there the other night and then we heard someone in the kitchen. Nobody was in there like messing with stuff. It always happens. It's like, Kind of normal <laughs> at why this you, point. Why do you think it's haunted? I love I love that every time you get really scared, you're like, <laughs> 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 a demon uh, tried to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just normal. <laughs> it's just that little nervous laugh that you have at the end there. Oh, there's so many people. It's so scary. <laughs> why do you oh, think? It, why do you think it's haunted? Huh? Did, did you do anything to get your oh. house haunted? Did you ever play with a Ouija board, or do you know if anyone oh, yeah. in the past? Oh, you I, did. Yeah, my whole life, like, like I said, I've seen things. I've always like very been like connected to it and like growing up I had like a little ghost friend and we had like <laughs> the creepiest like <laughs> see <laughs> <laughs> we had the creepiest like little tree next to our house that had like burnt dolls and like turtle shells on wait them. what burnt dolls and turtle shells yeah I I don't I don't even know I was, was like, it your four. neighbor's tree no it was our tree why and then, didn't like, you take the burnt dolls and turtle shells out of the tree? We did. <laughs> okay. But it was there when we moved in and there oh. was like human teeth on the floor, which kind of freaked me out because I learned that's like a thing in like satanic rituals. Yeah. And then like we also had a, um, cause it was like out in the country cause we're from Oklahoma. So like this was out there and um, there was like a light pole and there was like this dummy attached to it in a style of like, it would be like a witch burn at the stick where it's like arms are behind it. Whoa. I Do you have pictures or anything of this? I wish, it was back in like 2008, 2012. I was like oh, four okay. to eight years old, but it was terrifying. And then like <laughs> where I moved to is like, there's a lot of like murders happening out, happening out there. And like specifically where I live now, it was like a tweaker house before I lived there. So like, I feel like all that bad energy mm -hmm. came there. The guy across the street from my house, like he's had people die into like in the woods, literally across, like, I don't even know. Wow. It's scary. I think wow. He's wow. <laughs> I, I will say, um, when he read your story in that British accent, <laughs> did not think it was going to take this turn. <laughs> no. I was like, oh, shadow, shadow man, doppelganger. You actually have like a wildly Oh yeah, there's like so many things I could even talk about. Give me, give me one other. What would be what? What is the other? <laughs> what is the thing that has happened that almost made you move? Like just oh, go. I have to. I have to leave now. This actually didn't make us move. It happened. Okay, well, it was happening in the process of us moving from a house. So we like lived in this like janky little house, <laughs> and it had a basement, and it was just creepy it was just a creepy house as most basements are yeah yes. and so i slept in, i was like nine or eight around this time and i would lay in my bed and just like chill and like have like creepy little nightmares of dolls like chopping me up and like pulling me through little pipes and into the basement and then when we moved out my sister had actually went into the basement with her friends and looked through this like little peephole and right underneath my room, there's a room just full of dolls. <laughs> what? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. And so my sister's over there, so she she's seen it. She's the one that... <laughs> vouching for it? Have you ever been afraid that creepy little dolls are going to chop you up and throw you in little boxes? No, no. She was the one that found the room, though. Wow. It it's like a little room, but there was like no door. It was just like had a window and there was dolls and a table flipped over and chairs. It is so scary. And ever since I am terrified of dolls. Well, fun fact for 
No. <laughs> I would actually cry. Everyone gets a dog. <laughs> Imagine everyone had one under their seat and they all pull it out. <laughs> oh, I'd no, that would be terrible. <laughs> so wow. demonic rituals, I'm assuming. Like she said, it was just like a little hole. So like, how did but they the even get there? I don't you know. you were having those nightmares? Yeah. And it's like, like the energy was, you know, kind of shooting at you while yeah, you were Yeah, and ever since then, I've literally had horrible, horrible nightmares about dolls and stuff. Like last year, I went to Zach Begin's on a museum mm. and they had like this little like closet full of dolls and I just remember that like sticking with me so much because it's dolls and it's terrifying but like when I left I literally got so sick that I was just vomiting like it was like horrible and then I was having nightmares of dolls like chasing me and like attacking me and then like started seeing stuff around my house after that so wow yay, it's fun and, and you wow. and you said you're you're cleansing your house are you doing that yourself yeah what are you what are you doing like uh, in that i world? use sage i smudge my house because cool. i grew up uh native american traditional with my grandma cool. so she taught me how to do all that and we ha we deal with these little things called like little people and they like come around a lot so i try to get that away as much as possible so wait uh, can you just elaborate Elaborate on, on the little people. Like, what is what's um, exactly what you're talking about here? Because I, I don't know, I don't know anything about what you're talking about. They're now. like, they're in all their other cultures too, but like, mine they're called little people, and you're not really supposed to say it, but like, oops. So are we talking about like along the lines of like leprechauns, trolls? Like, are we talking about like that kind of world or? Um, yeah, kinda. They're like little like demons that like to like snatch things from you and like play jokes on you and like. Hmm. Just kind of peek around the corner and stare at you. They're like evil. I don't know. Do you ever have stuff go missing? Like oh, yeah. You play all the something time. Like, yeah. And I'm like, where? Why? I don't even know. Yep. It's so scary. Yep. <laughs> That's really. Yeah. Huh. Have you have you ever reached out to anyone to like uh, uh, like a more like, let's say, like professional in terms of cleansing of houses and actually trying to like remove everything from your home? Um. Have you like reached out to a church or parish or. <laughs> churches around my place are not like that. They don't believe in the paranormal paranormal they're very mm -hmm. much bible belt as well in oklahoma so like everyone there thinks i'm crazy anytime i talk about anything so i don't really talk about it that's why it's just me and my sister here <laughs> if you're in the bible belt doesn't that also mean that you do believe that there are demons and the devil right so shouldn't you would think <laughs> but they refuse to believe that they could be on earth is that kind of they just they don't really pay attention to it they're just like you're crazy and then like go on they're like go to church you'll be fine yeah. That's literally so their only solution is just go to church, pray to God, which I do, but like, mm, yeah. it doesn't help. <laughs> no, I can, I can relate it. It definitely hurts because like, I'm very spiritual and like mm. my relationship with God is like the best it's ever been. Like I feel great right now, but I have a lot of friends who are very like spiritual and religious as well. And they pretty much tell me that I'm going against God for ghost yeah. hunting. Yeah. And they're like, dude, like you are throwing everything that you say away because you are communicating with ghosts. Yeah. And it's just like, just get I, I, it's hard to understand, mm -hmm. but you know, everyone has their own opinions. Yep. And I don't think there's anybody even professional around that could do that in my area. But people travel. I was just, I was just curious, you know, yeah. I was just curious if you had ever reached out to, to try and find that cure. Cause I mean, like, I would love to, <laughs> I mean, at a certain point your friend's going to be like, Hey, I got a boyfriend or I got, I got to go share a bed with someone else and yeah, no. you're going to be on your own, you know? So like, yeah. look, my mom hasn't seen me in six weeks. Like, <laughs> <laughs> She'll be fine. <laughs> you know, have you tried uh, maybe just like one night, just getting like a mannequin and just seeing if like that works, like that'll ward it off. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Like replace your friend. You know what I mean? And then it walks to uh, the bathroom. Yeah, the mannequin stands up and stares at her instead. <laughs> and then she asked the mannequin the next day, was that you? And mannequin's like, no, that wasn't me. <laughs> and it was the doppelganger of the mannequin. I'm already terrified of dolls, so I think a mannequin <laughs> would not be okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you sleep with lights on and like the TV on and all uh, that? I sleep with my TV on and like a bunch of stuffed animals. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's so scary. So not, you're afraid of dolls, but not stuffed animals. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting line to draw. Well, one's cute and then the other one's like terrifying. So you're yeah. okay with uh, stuffed animals but not stuffed humans. That's that makes yeah. That's kinda that's that's the difference. Am I am I wrong? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Well no, think about it. It was the, <laughs> it's the dolls that have kind of like traumatized her in a way. That's true. You know? Yeah. That's true. 
Hmm. This is this is a very very interesting. Would you yeah. be open to if someone or if we could find someone or someone who's listening to this or watching this is like, hey, I've done this for twenty years. I can come and like properly do my best to to cleanse your house or eradicate your house of anything evil. Is that something you would want to do? I would love that because I feel like I've had something attached to me for years. Hmm. <laughs> so like, please get it away. Okay, that's fair. I mean, th- this is something okay. that um. We were originally planning on doing at the end of this year was uh, to do more of like a house call, kind of one-on-one situations like this. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, and then strangely, as we were preparing to do it and like building everything out, we actually like, I think, posted out uh, a Google form to like start submitting it. Then we found out like Ghost Adventures was doing it and we were like, okay, their idea, we'll, we'll pause. Yeah. But more and more as we hear these stories, it, it seems like... You know, like I said, we're not going to be the ones that are going to come in. Mm -hmm. I I let demons out. I don't pull them my way. Yeah. But we can find people. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, We can find people. And like, and like sincerely, like hearing these stories and hearing you like, I I can see the emotion in you when you're like, I'm traumatized. I need someone to sleep with me. Yeah. So like, and if we have the ability to be two phone calls away from someone who can find someone to help you with that, I think like, I feel like we have an obligation um, to help. Even if there's no cameras on and we're not there, like, You know, we have your email now, so okay. when well, the tour's over, maybe we have like a list. You know what I mean? Like just yeah. like a like a hit list of all these different people that are like, and we just send them out for a third hit day. List. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he just got like all the demonic sigils, and he's like, all right, I got to take this one out in Springfield, Missouri. I got this one in San Diego. No, I do think that's a great idea, though. I, I would I would love to help people with this because I know how scary yeah. it can be. It it's can be really fun scary. fun until it like follows you home mm-hmm. and like actually messes with you personally. Yeah. Other than that, it's fun. <laughs> Good. There's a way to turn it off. Do you know that? Like Pat, Patty has taught me this and I've my, my entire life, I've never known this. And when scary stuff happens, you know, throughout high school and then after high school, I would be terrified when ghost stuff happens. So I'm like, oh my God, the spirit's here. He's messing with me again. But Patty taught me that you can literally, like there's just like a switch in your brain and you can just be like, no, don't mess with me right now. Like I'm doing something. And I started doing that about a year ago or so. And any time when I'm alone or if I'm at, you know, not, not investigating, but if I'm out doing something and I think paranormal stuff is happening, I literally now vision myself turning off that switch and then it stops like for the whole rest of the day. So that could be something you practice. Yeah. Cause I I'm definitely open to it. Cause like anything try it. would help. Yeah. Literally anything. Yeah. yeah. Even Tamara was just sitting in that exact seat and said the yeah. same thing. Almost a kind of a similar story. Yeah. Just, you know, very similar in, in terms of experience and sleeping and waking up and being alarmed and yeah. just got to get that sass. And he's like, nah, fucking today. <laughs> mm. You just got to hit her with that, hit that, hit that ghost with that attitude. Yeah. And make him go away. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so I, one, one f- final question for me, and I don't know if Corey has anything mm-hmm. after, but so like you submitted your story, mm-hmm. reread your story, your story ended where it ended. Why in writing that did you not elaborate? Was it because you didn't want to share that much? Like, was that <laughs> was that a rationale behind why it kind of ended there? Um, honestly, I was just writing it while I was at work. So oh, okay. I was cool. in a rush. No, no deep. <laughs> okay. no, no deep answer. Just okay. <laughs> okay. I was yeah. just, what do you do for work? Oh, I work at a dispensary. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Where, trying, I'm trying yeah. to play. Where is it? Is it? How many miles is it from here? <laughs> Did you bring him a gift or? <laughs> I don't even know if that's legal here. To be honest, never wait, mind. Wait, hold on. You don't know if your job is legal? Well, no, in Missouri. I, yeah, in Missouri. I. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Then like. Technically. Wait, hon, you don't live in Missouri? No. I oh, don't. got it. Okay. I'm from Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Oh, right. Okay. I yep. yeah. You're currently living. Okay. Got yeah. it. That. I was like, you don't know if your job <laughs> <laughs> is legal <laughs> or not. You're like, I don't know. They, just, they pay well, me. It's a house. I waste off. I hand out baggies <laughs> and, I go, and, I, and I go home and I sleep with my friend. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like, that's what's happening here. <laughs> oh, Basically. that's funny. <laughs> well, sincerely, thank you. Thank yeah, you. seriously. And like, when we le- le- legitimately, we have your email, we have your phone number. I think when tour's over, this is something we should do. Like, yeah. regardless of cameras on or cameras off, like I, I can, I can, yeah, that, I can see it. This is not. <laughs> yeah, it's that would be so helpful because, like, literally, 
my whole life, my whole life it's been there. And like, I don't know without it. So it's so, I would just love to know. <laughs> cool. Very cool. Well, thank you. Sincerely, thank you. Can we all give thank her you. a round of yeah, applause? Seriously. Thank you. I'm going to give you a hug too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Truly did not uh, expect that story to go that route. So that's really cool. How, how are that you guys was. enjoying this? Sincerely. <laughs> we're, 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 you know I mean? We're like, we're trying to figure this out, but this is also something like we wanted to do. Like we're literally dedicated. We've been working on this for six months and like dedicating our entire summer to doing this. Cause like we truly felt like that was a real thing that was going to happen. We're like story people are willing to share this much, but we know it's that much. Mm -hmm. And like, had we not brought you on state, you know what I mean? Like we can probably help a little bit. So yeah, that's literally, this is what we wanted to have happen. If it's boring, you guys can tell us. Like, yeah. if you guys don't like us, just start booing right now. Oh, we can be boring. Thank you. You ever seen it? <laughs> Dude plays Rocket League with like no audio or anything, just stares at the screen clicking buttons. Well, my speakers broke. <laughs> So get new ones, dude. Well, I mean, I can just listen to you play it on the TV and I kind of try to sync it up together. What do you think the most boring thing we could do is, but then try and make it entertaining? Oh, play top golf with no clubs. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not, are, we, are you kidding me? We'd be kicking it. We'd be like, or, like taking all the, the cups, like all the Coca-Cola cups, taping them together and whacking it that okay, way. Okay, yeah, you're right. That or, wouldn't be boring. That'd no, be fun. No, it'd be more fun. I take the ball and I just run down the top <laughs> golf field and just drop it bullseye. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. That would actually would be. Mm. All right. No, so we could make that one fun. Yeah. All right. So I have another story, but this one was really, really cool when I was reading it. It like actually gave me that like kind of like tingly feeling at my back because it reminded me a lot of when we went to the Biltmore mm. and had the phones ringing. I'll read the story. I'm not doing a British accent. <laughs> you go to your French accent. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is exactly as it's written. The story isn't mine, but it's my mother's. And to this day, she will not use Ouija boards. And I have my own story, but hers are much better. Ha ha. One night while playing with a Ouija board in 1994 on a cold, snowy December night in Chicago, my mother and aunt came in contact with something or someone named Frank who said he wants Margaret and then starts going back and forth with numbers, repeatedly telling them words after each other, each sequence such as call or answer her. My mom was very hesitant, but ended up calling the number to which a woman answered the phone from a bar in Boston. When the lady answered, my mom said, okay, I know this is crazy, but I'm playing with a spear board and this person communicating with me is very intensely asking me to call this number over and over. His name is Frank and wants to speak to a woman named Margaret. The lady says in a mean tone over the phone, don't ever call back here again. I don't know what sick joke you're trying to play, but my mother has been through enough. To which she hung up. The board gets more crazy and makes my mom's hands go back and forth very fast spelling out call back over and over again. My mom's dog suddenly starts barking at an empty chair three feet away from her and won't stop. Out of nowhere, my mom's phone rings and it's the bar calling her back. This time, it was the girl's mother with an erupting sound of cats hissing and fighting in the background. The lady said, if he is really there with you, tell him I love him so, so, so much, but tell him to stop scaring the cats and me. I love you, Frank. My mom was panicking and said, she loves you, Frank. She loves you. Both the dog in my mom's house and the cats instantly stopped being loud and the board said, thank you and goodbye. The lady told my mom that Frank was her husband who died in a firefighting accident 15 years ago and she never got the chance to say, I love you or goodbye. So she was very grateful for my mom calling, and that was the end. That's one of many stories, but I think it's a good one that truly shows proof of good spirits trying to fulfill the need and saying goodbye when they never could. Wow, that's crazy. Like a Ouija board helping you get a phone number yeah. to Boston and then calling that, and it's a bar. <laughs> 
I never even thought about that, like a Ouija board typing out a phone number. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've, I've never even thought that that would be something that's possible. So next time you forget the password to one of your logins, <laughs> I'll convince you to use a Ouija board. Well, wait, don't. Um, and you'll be like, it's Taco Tuesday 9 exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't mediums done that? Yeah, Patty. Yeah, that's Patty right. Is one Patty. Of them. There, yep. was a, there was an iPhone that was locked and she was like, yeah, it's like a mediums could just figure it out. That's that's wow. really, really, really cool wow. to know that it could do that. I wonder, I wonder why um, her husband would be like communicating through Ouija boards in different states or, you know what I mean? Maybe that's where they lived. I mean, oh, maybe that house. Like, okay. I, I mean, I don't think there's enough information, but it's very possible that like, that's what they lived in Chicago. Okay. Right. I mean, we, we don't know, but we can, we can ask Yeah. because they should be here. So the story was written by Noah Howard. You are here. Ah, come on up. Your mom's not here. That's all good. Let's go. Let's go. Noah How Howard, everyone. Boom. Part Hello, governor. Thing. There we <laughs> go, brava. <laughs> Do that again one more time. Hello, governor. <laughs> See, we're on a roll tonight. So you're, how old were you when you learned about this story? Uh, Probably seven, I think, is when like she would tell me the stuff so it didn't freak me out. But yeah, seven. That's wow. about when it happened. Yeah. And... How did, the, did your mom continue using a spirit board after this? Or was this the end? Uh, yeah, she did. And, you know, all the friends and the family would be like, can we use it? Can we use it? Like, do it with us because we know your stories. And she'd mm. be like, listen, it's going to open up a gate. If you want to do this, we'll do this, but be ready. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that happened. It was freaky. Um, my mom, to this day, I wish she could be here to explain it herself because it'd be a lot better. She's working right now. But Yeah. FaceTime or no. <laughs> <laughs> she might answer. But she'd probably be like, what the hell's going on? Has so, there been, sorry, real quick. Has there been any more communication between your mom and these people since that? No, that was the last, I mean, not that I'm aware of, but yeah. that's the last that they ever talked to each other. So have but you, I have my own, man. I have tons. We're Me and my mom are known as the people who talk to spirits. Like we're like the, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a little intense. You do it together as a, as a, as a mother son duo. She won't use a Ouija board with me. With I'm the you. one person she won't do it with. Cause she'll, she she'll do it by herself and you'll do it by yourself, but not together. She won't do it by herself. That's oh. like a big no, no. For oh, her. right. Right. Sorry. I meant she'll do it with other people without you. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. She'll do it with like family. If they beg and beg, like we know the stories, please, please. So one creepy one is in Arizona. My brother-in-law was married to a new woman and she was new to our family and she came down to meet us and they went to go play the Ouija board. And the next thing you know, uh, she's like, I don't want to talk to my grandmother. I don't want to talk to my grandmother. My grandmother died. My brother, even before coming, said, don't mention her grandma. Like, let's try not to talk about it. She died recently. Don't talk about it. And she was like, I don't want to talk to her, but I want to use the Ouija board because I know your stories. And so they did. And they used the Ouija board. And I was little. They wouldn't let me touch it. So I'm sitting in the living room, just sitting there. And I can hear them talking and communicating with the board. And next thing you know, I see my sister-in-law, my new sister-in-law storm off freaked out dip out the house and i've talked to her twice at this point so i was like okay this is a little scary and so it goes is i don't know how ouija boards exactly work but from what i can see is when she left uh i asked my mom i said what happened well when they went to go use the ouija board again uh basically she said let me ask a question with my mind mm -hmm. and like because i maybe it's just me doing this like i don't know i don't know what to do so she, that happened. Next thing you know, uh, she asked a question in her mind of a nickname she was called, which was some Hispanic name. I don't know the exact nickname her grandma called her, but Kendra got off of the, the Ouija board, looked at the Ouija board and said, okay, I have my question. My mom and my brother were using it, said the, said the answer, said the, her nickname that only her grandma would know. Wow. And there was not even verbal yeah. Conversation about yeah, it. Yeah, she just thought it. Yeah. Is it is this something you like you're actively practicing? Like are you Oh yeah, man, I got a spirit mainly because of you guys. I got a spirit box. I got like all the equipment <laughs> trying to get into it. I live in the Lake of the Ozarks, so like we drove two hours up here. So you got today. a bunch of like just dead partying ghosts out there, huh? Sure. <laughs> money laundering ghosts. <laughs> yeah, money laundering ghosts. <laughs> yeah. As everyone asks you, Oh, you live here because of the show? I'm like, no, I live here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um but yeah, I've had Tons of weird things happened recently with, sorry, I'll you're good, you're continue good. the mic. Uh, recently with the spirit box, um, we were at a friend's house. This was probably, what, five days ago? And 
there, I was like, yeah, me and my mom are known as the people who can talk to ghosts. And she was like, okay, well, I have a, I have a new spirit box. Can you break it in for me? I was like, oh, sure. Plug the headphones in. I go by their windowsill. I'm just sitting there listening. I say random words here and there. And then all of a sudden I say Metcalf. I was like, that's what I heard. It was clear, Metcalf. And you know how in the spirit box, it's like different voices. Like yeah. you can tell it's like a male woman. And this is a strong male, Metcalf. And then it was Coyote. And I was like, okay. And then they all freaked out, came over to me and said, how do you know this? This is my second time at their house. There are two roads side by side to each other behind that house, Metcalf and Coyote off the intersection. <laughs> and I've never seen those roads in my life. <laughs> and they were like, so do we go over there? Do we go over there? And there was a, there's a cemetery on Metcalf. We went over there with the ghost box and a tons of things had a little kid saying, I know I was hit by a car. Like mm. I could hear like car hit dead scared to come over across the street from these woods across and uh my girlfriend was there and next thing you know she's sitting there and it says move and like scoot so they were like okay i guess we scoot over and they scoot over she'll say to this day that a cold presence sat right on her knee as i was a little kid and then as soon as it happened and she was like wow that like it's cold over here it goes get up and we were like what get up like what do we we believe and it I can't remember exactly what it was saying, but we believe that it was basically saying like, like it was a father and a, a kid. Mm -hmm. And it was like, get up, you're bothering them. Go mm -hmm. back to the graveyard. Wow. So yeah, it was freaky. And that was this week, five days ago? Yeah, about five days ago. Yeah. <laughs> when, when you're when you're going out ghost hunting, like we, we know why we ghost hunt, but what's what's your reasoning? What are you, what are you hoping for? Are you, just, are you doing it for the thrill? Are you doing it for evidence? Are you doing it... To get more internal peace so you kind of know what life, like what, what are you envisioning and hoping for when you're going out and doing paranormal investigations? You know, I don't, I don't film it like you guys do. I just kind of do it to do it. Yeah. And when I go and do it, I like to make the stories and to, you know, tell them to people. Cause I have tons of people saying, oh, you're, you're lying. You're, can I mm -hmm. swear on this? Yeah, you can swear. You're bullshit. Like you're, this is not true. I thought you were going to give me a way worse swear word. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah, like um, heck. But, but they'll, they'll tell me like, you're a liar. And then I'm like, okay, let's go prove it. I want to be the one to prove it to you. Yep. This is what's going on back here. Yep. And I do. I take them back there. I confidently as hell put on that those headphones when nobody else will. And I'll say the words that it's saying. Like, for example, I was in Colorado with my best friend and also my girlfriend and her sister. And there was a grave behind me. We were in a graveyard. Not supposed to be. Mom, if you're watching, uh, was <laughs> Police, not at the you're graveyard. Watching, uh... <laughs> Police, uh... <laughs> So yeah, he's right. Wasn't Noah me. Howard. He lives at. <laughs> you can send the ticket to. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, uh, we were in this graveyard, and the next thing you know, it says Mike, and then it said it was a little call, like a little pause for a while, and it said Colorado, and it was like a really weird voice, like it was like singing it into my ear. It was like Colorado. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, yeah, that's where I am. And then it goes in your arms, and I was like, okay. And then a spirit, like a, 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 a woman spirit says, angel. And I was like, okay, well, that's what it's saying. My friend goes to my girlfriend and goes, whispers in his ear. I can't hear. I have the headphones on. You know how loud that thing gets. Yeah. And I, I she, she, apparently he goes to whisper to her and says, I think shedding. and as he says it, I go, shut up. Because I hear, shut up. Wow. Wow. And it said, stop. Wow. He went back to the car, freaked out. I turned around. We went the next day in the daylight to see if anything happened. Nothing really was. But right where I was standing, behind me, where I wasn't looking, it was dark, was Mike's grave with heaven. It was angels in heaven holding you in their arms or something on the tombstone. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's Freaky. Really cool. And, and I, I love this because it's like, man, I get to be the one that they're wanting to talk to and get yep. to fulfill this. And Exactly. I yeah. I, I can relate to that because when I was in high school and I was – for some reason into the, you know, the Ouija board a lot, which you're not scared of the Ouija board. Oh no. Right? Man, I'll touch those things all the time. I'm day. scared. I'm of like, it now. Hey, man, I'll open a dibbit box right now on this stage. It's don't say that. <laughs> don't, well, don't. if you look right now, <laughs> Ooh, no, it's Oprah. Say that. <laughs> but literally, like my party trick would be when I was like 15, 16, I would tell my friends, like, coming over to my house, yeah. we're gonna play the Ouija board. I'm gonna set my phone in the hall and you know, I'm gonna, you know, record audio. And when we pull my phone back in, we'll hear whispers, you know. Know, I swear my lights will flicker. We'll hear knocks on my, yeah, you I know, the same closet. Thing. Hell yeah, man. And party it happens. Tricks. Let's go. It happens. Is that how I got you, babe? Party tricks, ghosts? Was it the party tricks? Hell yeah. It was the it was the cat balls. Okay. I never owned cat balls. That's one thing I should have got downstairs. I didn't get it. Would you be willing to commit to, if I pay for it, 
a Ouija board tattoo on your back, and then you get to become the board, and we have a planchette. Dude. Sure. If um, everyone pitches in one dollar, <laughs> <laughs> mom. Once again, if you're watching, <laughs> do not look at my back. <laughs> um, I don't care. <laughs> you want to do it? All right, I'll make the appointment. I will be. We're gonna cleanse your house and tattoo a Ouija board on him <laughs> at the same time. And then we're gonna use your back Ouija board in her house. Hell <laughs> oh, well, she lives with me, so it's all our house. <laughs> I was talking about Isabella. What? Wait, you live with oh, Isabella? Oh no, Isabella. Sorry, I don't know. Oh wait, I was, I was talking about Isabella's house. <laughs> Oh, I saw it. <laughs> no, I was talking about Isabella's These house. lights are bright, man. I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's a couple. I've had like visual experience too, also in Colorado at my friend's house in Franktown, which is, if you know what Franktown is in Colorado, it's in the middle of bumfuck. It's like, you don't know where it is if you go to Colorado. And he has this big log cabin and he had a trampoline out by a shed and his parents were never home. We would just throw parties and jump on the trampoline like 15 years old and uh, that's what we do now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dude i have an olympic trampoline in my backyard dude i need an invite <laughs> we'll, we'll use the spirit box while we jump on the trampoline yes see i've been trying to do that but elton's just not wanting to do it for some reason you can do it do it go ahead do it do it oh right now yeah oh how convenient now that you're not near the trampoline you want to do it <laughs> okay i'm sorry continue, continue. we're being immature we're, we're being, being we're immature we're being 15 year olds i'm immature too it's okay uh we were on the trampoline. Next thing you know, there's that shed in the back. It's pitch black. The only light out there is the moon. That's literally all you can see. The shed goes boom. We all start bolting into the house. We're running. We lock the doors. We go up into my friend's room, stare out the window towards the trampoline. You can't see anything. It's black, but we're like, oh, look in the direction, see if there's something. I kid you not, to this day, this is the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. Like, literally. We look out there and we see, it looks like moonlight. Like, it looks like the brightness of the moon hitting, like, like land mm. it was straight up a woman in a white dress tall as shit had to be like six seven and was hanging it, it wasn't like levitating it was more of like a like it was like it was kind of hanging but like yeah up like this yeah and it was hanging there staring right up at us and i could weirdly see its eyes and like a like it cut out the white part of its eyes it was you had to be there. It, my friends could back this up too. It was the scariest what? thing ever. We go, whoa, whoa, like what is that? Get your phone, get your phone. My friend grabs his phone vanishes it was like a like a, like almost like a candlelight like going out it was weird i totally thought you were gonna say it was like six foot seven white dress dude just doing double backflip 360s oh yeah dude just on the trampoline <laughs> on the tramp. you gotta get dude. there and film that ghost man <laughs> dude, we were just like, trying to get that shot but we couldn't get it franktown colorado go there and find that ghost it was like my turn i want to jump is there a paranormal experience that you could have that would make you quit no i'll get full on like I get possessed for this. Like I'll, I'm down to do whatever. I don't, here we go, bro. Let's wow. I don't get to investigate with you guys tonight, but in the future, I, I'm all in. I Facts. will do whatever. You can put me in a dark room and close that. Okay. Door and all right. Let's let's eyes. let's let's flip the the direction of the question then. If something horrible could not necessarily happen to you, but if something happened to, for say, your mother or your family, oh, I'd feel terrible. Would you drop? Would you stop? No. If like if you were the if you were the if you were the reason. I love you, babe, but. No. <laughs> so if you were the reason that your girlfriend had just like massive scratch marks across her back. Oh, I mean. Every single well, day. She's actually, it never ended. You she, would just keep ghost hunting? I, well, she's even been there with me. Another experience of mine was at the same graveyard where uh, the last story was. Mm -hmm. um, I got scratched like hard and I was like almost bleeding and I didn't know what it was. And we got in the car and we went back to my house and everyone just kind of played it off normal. I was feeling on my neck like mm, this, this shit hurts. Like I don't know. Did I get stung by some big ass bee or something? <laughs> like what is this? Um, and I found myself in a trance, like a weird ass trance. All my friends were hanging out watching TV. I'm looking up Irish demons, like Wikipedia, and I'm full on reading it. But in my brain, I'm not reading it. Like I'm just like on my phone scrolling through Instagram or some shit. Oh. And then I like sort of come to a realization. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck am I looking at? I had to have her take my phone away and I had to go lay down in my bed with my head in my pillow. That's weird. Yeah. That's very So can we weird. go back to the part where you said even if your girlfriend was getting uh, attacked by a demon, you would keep using a Ouija <laughs> She board? defended me in that time. She was comforting. So yes, I would. I, I wouldn't stop. I would maybe take a break. Maybe pause for a little bit. Be like, yeah, like shit, a 20 minute not, break. Let's yeah. not hurt my family. <laughs> All right, babe, let's uh, wipe that blood off and get back to this real quick. Go out you to the car. Scratch me up, but don't touch my mom. Here's the gauze. I'll put the headphones on. No, let's, <laughs> let's do this at the same time. Yeah, I'm down. I'm, I'm down for whatever. Wow. Whenever. <laughs> I wish I was like that. I do too. <laughs> I know you do. 
I know. I'm just so scared. Actually, I'll be honest. I don't know if I do wish you were like that because like there would be no balance. We would just go yeah. off kilter. We yeah. would just go insane. Yeah, we would. Like if the you, balance, I think, is what makes the video. Yeah, that's great. exactly. It's like, yeah, it's like he's like, oh, yep, today this is really scary. What's the most fucked up thing here? Yep, time to torture Corey. Put him in this fucking room. <laughs> Talk to this ghost. Good luck. Have fun. Like, <laughs> but so here, here, here's the thing about this too is we you guys have seen a majority of our videos and like there there's been for example the Cecil Hotel opening the dipping box on the roof like where I thought legitimately was like oh he's never he's never gonna do this again with me um we've had we've had a lot of these moments where we've kind of had the seesaw this push back and forth back and forth where we're always very clear um that like I have these intentions and I know where his belief stands so the video at Ashmore States which is like part three of like the dipping box series that originally started right here in Pythian Castle was the first night ever where we like put everything in check. We both cried because he, I don't know exactly what happened, but I've never, it gets me emotional now. I've never seen him like so terrified. Like he, you broke down, like you left the building and we didn't know where you were. And we found you in the motorhome, and you were just, you were sobbing. Yeah. And like, you were like, I don't want you to die. I just like, care you, about you, you. He like literally, he saw something or felt something that he legitimately in that moment thought I was going to die. Mm -hmm. And then strangely, as we talked about, we have the bird thing. And Oh, I wanted to add on that. Uh, do you guys know about like Alfred Hitchcock, like the movie Birds, like the birds? Yeah, yeah, all the oh, crows. Yeah. How, yeah, and they hit the, the house. And yeah. Doesn't that make the people, like that means they're dying next? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's got to be what the omens from. Yeah, it's like, very right? it's very it's similar like, to, uh, I think I think Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds was based off of like the, the plague and the locust. Yeah. It's very yeah. like derivative of that. But yeah, so like Ashmore States was one of those moments where we found that balance again and we found like, okay, this is where I have to draw the line. Yeah. True. And then we decided to, I mean, spoiler alert, we decided ourselves to not open any of the dipping boxes, even though my intent was just to cut them all open and go for it. Yeah. Um, we ended up bringing in someone who knew what she was doing yeah. to do it. But like, yeah, it's a really weird balance. Works. So, but the thing it is works. like, I don't know. I'm not saying I'm a better person, but like if he started getting bloody <laughs> scratch marks on his back, so I'd be like, I think we got to stop, dude. <laughs> I show my friends your guys' videos and one of my friends, Declan, doesn't believe in ghosts and I showed him the video and you got him to believe in ghosts. It was, I forgot which investigation it was. Mm. It was when you guys were all down using the spirit box and it's one of the videos if nobody's heard of you, I show them. Um, I'm trying to think of what the rock. It's got all the rocks. Execution, Execution rocks. Execution rocks. Oh, wait, rocks. the one where I had my hand on the, on the yeah, Conjuring House yeah, Civic box. Exactly. And you, you were like, tweaking you were freaking out because yeah. the spirit box was like really going in and he i could see him going like damn bro like i don't believe in ghost hunters like other ghost investigations but this guy looks genuinely like <laughs> pissing his pants like i'm scared dude too. because i am <laughs> like it's it, it's it scares me like the, it, it the really fear, does the fear you had when i showed you i had the conjuring house divic box i don't know how i perfectly snuck that into our vehicle neither do i and snuck it onto a boat neither and do took I. it to a small <laughs> island either you are not observant or I'm a magician because <laughs> I don't know how I took that thing 700 miles or whatever it was yeah, all the way onto the island. And when I revealed it, I just saw the fear and I was like, good video. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fun. I know. But like, that's the thing. It's like, cause you're thinking like, okay, this is about to be a good video, but I'm thinking what's going to happen after the video. Exactly. It, it terrifies me. I would hate for anything to happen to, you know, someone that I really care about, like just because we wanted to push it for a video. And I think that's the line that I had to, you know, I, I came into these videos as a horror movie fan and I was like, this sounds fun. I like horror movies. I like going to creepy places. I like scaring my friends. Um, it, it sounded super fun. And then over the years, I mean, I think we're five years in now, we found that that balance yeah. between what we do, which strangely is like the exact reason why in the Warren Museum series, I was like, I'm just going to put in this disclaimer up front. You can say it, you can not, you can believe in it, you can not. But I'm like, if it helps, then let's find out like, what, who am I to Dude, Yeah, I couldn't even, even in The Conjuring, like the, at, at that investigation, when you would show that one, that one spirit that apparently goes into your dreams and stuff, I would be like, I'd look at it and be like, damn, that's just scary. But then I'd like, mm -hmm. damn, I want to keep looking at it, but I don't want it to come in my dreams. Yep. But then there's me, the one who wants to investigate all the time. Like, come on, come on, get in my dreams. Let's exactly. go. Let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> Oh, it's just because you don't know. Like, <laughs> I like it. You know like, what's crazy is we've met each other before. Really? I snuck, and, and like I paid, in our dreams? No, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> what? It's been a couple of when times, have we met? actually. When <laughs> have we met? <laughs> uh, I snuck into a VidCon party. Um, I think it was... 
All right. So again, his name is Noah Howard. <laughs> no, VidCon. And he, Vidcon. And he lives. You don't at, have to ban me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I, I paid a security guard two hundred bucks to get into a video. All right, and, no the, and, way. The, and what was? And, uh, if you wouldn't mind, I would uh, never snitch on her. Shout what out to her. If you're watching, and you well, know, we know who you now are, we know the gender. Yeah, so shout out to Michelle. From there, what what year was it? What year was it? It was twenty seventeen. And what party? What party was it? Uh, it was in the hotel. There was like a hotel party. Okay, twenty seventeen female were guard. Twenty seven. All right, we're gonna figure this out, and uh, we're gonna get her fired. Hey, she wow. she helped me. <laughs> wow. I had a fun night. I snuck in there like I was an influencer. I was like, Dude, hey, what's up, guys? I didn't ask anybody for pictures or anything. I just yeah. wanted to be around. Did you have fun? Like, you know, I had, I had a blast. Yeah. It was dope. Yeah. Did you, did you bring I, I, a Ouija paid, I paid a lot of money. No, we should have. You should have brought a Ouija board. Right yeah. in the middle of the party. Yeah, that would have been cool. Taking shots. Or just took his shirt off in the back tattoo. Yeah. So basically, we brought a criminal on stage. <laughs> we brought a criminal on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Not no. a criminal. It was for a good reason. Exactly. What, was, what was a good reason? Meet a bunch of people that I have seen on you know YouTube before, and I was like, dude, if I I just asked her, I was like, hey, I know they're all in there. I was like, I'll give you a hundred bucks right now, cash. Was it was like, that cheap? Yeah. Damn, I had to pay more to get well, there see, myself. Half the security guards at VidCon <laughs> didn't give a shit. They were like, all right, a hundred dollars, and then she just yep. went like this, gave me a wristband, and she walked away. Uh, VidCon, if you're listening, <laughs> uh, pay your security guards better. <laughs> no, VidCon, if you're listening, give me a wristband next year. <laughs> you know. <laughs> And got a wristband from VidCon in a minute. <laughs> if I knew it was a hundred dollars, I would have just been doing that. Well, here's the thing: it wasn't a wristband for VidCon; it was a wristband for oh, for, for the, the hotel, for the part. hotel party. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, makes sense. It worked. Well, hey man, thank you. Seriously, no really, really fun talking Hopefully to you. Hopefully, one yeah. day I'll get to investigate with you guys and for throw sure. on that speaker box and yeah, when you get that tattoo. Yeah. Okay, you get that tattoo. I'm using that bag tattoo back Ouija board thing that we're doing. Investigation. Huh? I get that back tattoo. You'll sign me to the investigations. Well, I didn't say plural. Start at oh. one. <laughs> you got to go on so, one well, day. So now dude. I got to get like one of my chest. Too, yeah. And then like one of my legs. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the planchette can be your knee. No. Well, we'll and then you could just stretch. Then I have to <laughs> play fucking you know twister I mean? with my yep. back. <laughs> He's got to do this. With that thing where you try and touch your hand to your hand. To like, like, like use the board. He left no leg idea. green. Uh, all right. <laughs> left leg green. <laughs> That's we're, possible. We're going to get him like K2 earrings. Just like little electronics <laughs> that pin through. And it I'm just like, guys, guys, there's cute. something. It's buzzing. Like I could tell you. That'd be cute. I'll lay on my stomach right now. Use the Ouija board. That's I feel like style. you might get the tattoo and now I regret everything I proposed. Hey, man. You never know. Are Watch you know? out on Twitter. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right. Well, see you at VidCon. <laughs> <laughs> Not VidCon. See you at the party later at the hotel. <laughs> oh yeah. Facts. 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 Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Yeah, of course, man. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. And uh, I hope, you know, when you do start bleeding from your back because a demon attacks you, he maybe stops for yeah. a minute to help you. Uh, you yeah. Know. Does that concern you at all? That he's willing to go that far from like uh, from a girlfriend? You are their girlfriend, correct? Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I'm not really that scared. I've not gotten scared personally either, so we kind of do it together. There are times where I do think we take it too far, and I'm usually the one that says, hey, we should probably stop. And he pushes it, but he will stop if I really am scared. I took a lot of influence from Zach Bagans. Like, they're like, come on, like, come at me, like that kind oh, of thing. Oh, boy. Got it. I got it. I, I've never watched. I've only watched half an episode of Ghost Adventure. So. Dude, I grew up on that show. I know. I really, dude, I remember being like 13 and it was Halloween and they're doing like an episode every day and I would just be shitting my pants. <laughs> and it's like 4 p.m. It wasn't even nighttime. <laughs> and then I would go to ballet class right after, yeah. It's a true story. I'm telling a true story. <laughs> I just wish you were still a ballerina or a ba ballet dancer. I know, me too. Just imagine how much activity you could get. <laughs> why? Wait, why would I get more activity? I just want you to put a K2 in your toe and do one of those like spinning pirouettes and just oh. like figure out what room. Oh, that, that would actually be great. Mm -hmm. Think about that. A little plie. And I could have point shoes. Mm -hmm. You know, they wanted me to do point. It was rare for guys to do point and they wanted me to, but I didn't do it because it hurt my toes. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. You're doing, you're doing so good. You're doing Thanks. just lovely, honey. Thanks, Dad. Keep going. This is what your dad sounds like? Okay, so the story <laughs> happened when I was 12. <laughs> how, should, how can I read this do it, one? Commit. You got to commit should now. Should I do it like yeah, that? Yeah, you got to commit now. Okay. Okay, honey, listen up. The story happened when I was 12, but to this day, I still see the shadow figures. <laughs> I remember I was in the kitchen making a bowl of cereal, home alone, and it was very quiet. I could see out the corner of my eye a figure. 
just like a men's black figure outline that you would see on a bathroom, but more fuzzy, and it was about six, seven, I would say. I could feel that it was watching me, but when I would turn to face it, it would disappear. I let out a sigh. <sighs> confused and a little on edge honey okay i finished getting my bowl of cereal and i was gonna sit down to eat it i set the bowl down on the kitchen table and then i froze just like some ice honey the figure was inches from me i could practically feel it but i could only wait commit come on but i no. could only see it out of the corner of my eye it was on the right side looking over my shoulder i was shit in my pants like it was just waiting to get at me to jump at me again i went to turn to confront it and it disappeared the strangest thing about this experience is that i knew it could not actually harm me sure i was kind of scared but i wasn't rattled as some people get when they see things honey okay i was almost Calm. Can I pause you one more time? Can you do that? Can you turn and do the mouth thing one more time, please? They need to see what I'm saying. Yep. I was practically daring it to come close to me, to reveal itself to me, because I knew that it could not harm me. It was almost like the figure was scared of me. It was checking me out to see if I was harmful or harmless. Keep in mind, I'm 12, honey. Most 12-year-olds would be freaking out right now, yelling, crying. But me, I was almost stone-cold Steve Austin calm. I have no idea why it really left me alone that day, but it did not come back, and I have haven't seen it since. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. You're gonna have to learn more impressions, but and it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am gonna have to learn more. I'll be honest. I think I took in half that story. I was too busy laughing at your mouth movements. I think I literally know half of what happened. Something about the ghost tried to intimidate a 12 year old, and the 12 year old intimidated the ghost. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes, okay. that is correct. Do we want to bring this person on stage? Yeah, let's bring him on stage. I don't know the name. That's all you. Let me read it, honey. <laughs> Get your shit together, huh? Liz, where you at, Liz? Get up here. Get up here, Liz. Is there, is Give it up for. Oh! Give it up for Liz. Give it up for. I'm such a classic person. I'm so sorry. I missed Kyle, it. Kyle, did you get that? Oh my god, yes! That's the intro to the show right there, everyone. <laughs> Watch we check the footage. You see a little ghost just push her. Oh, if you see, <laughs> no, you just see an orb fly away. Honestly, yeah. He's back. The, <laughs> the, mic the shadow you. man's back. <laughs> you imagine the shadow man. Is he going to talk about me? <laughs> <laughs> oh huh? my God. Huh? Oh, you, you telling everybody you think I'm scared of you. Huh? <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> so yeah, that's my story. Um, I don't really know. What to go from there? Hold the mic like somewhere around. You don't have to, you don't have to press it to your yeah. face. She's just no, like, that's... yeah, this is how you want me to talk it to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. You want to be? Yep. <laughs> just right about here. I'm just yeah. gonna eat it. Just <laughs> no, don't. It, what? <laughs> All right, we gotta buy a new mic now, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah. So that happened when I was twelve. Describe to me you as a twelve-year-old. Were you jacked? Like, um, why were you intimidating the shadow man? I need to know what you looked like. I grew up religious so i'm still christian so i knew that these things existed um and i've always i've kind of very empathic so i've always seen things heard things known that they were there but kind of like what you were talking about with patty i just i guess i just automatically had that in my head because mm -hmm. i would just shut it down i'd be like no you can't touch me like wow. no you're not allowed to like even the shadow figure was just as close as here like if it could breathe, like if it was a person, it would be breathing on me. Like I could feel it. Wow. So it didn't have eyes or anything, but it was just staring me down right here. And I was just like, in my mind, I was like, yeah, come, come at me, bro. <laughs> at 12. <laughs> scared. And have like, you ever, have you ever had anyone like, especially when you were that young, tell you like, you know, spirits can't do anything to you or demons can't do anything to you. Just turn it off. Or did you just know? Um, kind of both. Um, my mom and my grandma are both very strong religious women. Um, and I just, I think it's also just kind of that knowing that, um, the Holy spirit and me being like, Hey, yeah. 
you can do this. Like you, you're allowed to do this. It's not like, oh, yeah. you're just some human, like, you know. I feel that. It was really strange because I was kind of scared, but not like what I wasn't like quaking or like crying or anything. I was just kind of like more curious. Like, why are you looking at me? Mm -hmm. Why, why are you looking at me? You know, there's a bunch of other people who don't believe and you're getting onto me. Like, I don't, you know I just don't understand. The <laughs> irony of you reading that story in that tone, she's like, what you looking at, huh? You exactly. Got, you got a problem that with me? That reading was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I can relate to that though, because there's a lot of times growing up where like after I knew it was the shadow man that I saw and I knew that, you know, I was having experiences with him, I could feel him like standing behind me and mm -hmm. I would just be like, just don't turn around, like ignore him. But yeah. I, I feel like I was way more scared than how you just explained yours. I was terrified because I would be in a, you know, don't turn around, but run as fast as you can to get out of, you know, where you are. I would always run from it. I was an elite gymnast for a long time. So I just the mentality of that sport, I think, helped too. like telling yourself, oh, yeah, you can do a backflip on the beam and you won't die like that. That kind of mindset also helps just strengthening strengthening that and yeah. just being like oh yeah no what are you gonna do like i've already done worse to myself what are you gonna do to me like yeah i like her too <laughs> you sound way more badass than matt <laughs> oh calling out matt. <laughs> yeah matt is a little baby though yeah matt, matt definitely does be getting scared have you ever gotten to a point where you have said i'm, I'm sure you've had these encounters since then where you've said, hey, back off, and, it, and you felt as though it wasn't listening. Um, and you've never felt in danger in any capacity. No. Interesting. Um, kind of like what we were talking about was that um, a couple of girls and Corey, like you have seen it via Ouija board. I've never played with any of that stuff in my life. Mm. And the shadow man that you describe has a top hat. Mine doesn't. Mine doesn't have a top hat, no clothes, just a figure like looking at me. Like I could tell it was malintent bad wanted to do something to me but couldn't mm. like some sort of barrier yeah do you have any idea where like the origination of this came from because like you know for you you're 12 and this is just happening mm -hmm. have you ever throughout the years been able to kind of trace back why this began no i i mean i would reason it's because kind of like the same way little kids can see ghosts and see spirits I was just vulnerable at that time. Um, and they just like, they take advantage of kids yeah. and people who don't even know like themselves yet or just like have been talking to their parents their whole life and haven't made their own belief system or strength in their self. They just take advantage of it. And I think I had a really head start with that and like my own personality wise and just being already strong at that age. Wow. So you, you firmly believe that with that, that mental attitude of you can't harm me, shut this down, that it is 100% effective for you? Yes. Cool. I, mean, I, think, I think that works for everybody. Yeah. You just got to yeah. learn. I was going to say, like, I believe if somebody believes enough and that says, like, no, you cannot, they won't do anything mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. But if you still have that little very scared feeling in the back of your head where it's like, well, maybe they can. A little chink in then, the armor. Yeah, then they're going to keep messing with you. Yeah. But if you completely believe that it's not going to, you just turn that switch off. I think that's why nothing, like, I don't know. That's why I go into all these things. I'm like, you can't do anything. Like, you can try, go ahead. But in my head, I'm like, you can't. Yeah. Like, the wall shut down. Like, I'll be like, challenge it. But I don't know. Yeah. Stop it right there. Like, what's crazy is that um, I saw this, like, you guys were coming to my hometown and I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> me my hometown like we're in the middle of nowhere we're literally in the middle of the u.s and god knows where hit country <laughs> like and i'm just Imagine like if I okay said that. I'm like, yeah hey guys so we're live from uh god knows where hit country springfield <laughs> missouri pivian castle bumfuck nowhere don't know why we're here why the fuck did we come here oh my imagine god. if i <laughs> That felt personal. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I saw here? that and I started up a conversation with my mom like, hey, have you had any experiences? Because I I know that when I was younger, I would always told, I was scared. Um, and I would tell my mom, I don't want to see anything. Mom, I don't want to see anything. Like I'm scared to see something because mm -hmm. I guess I knew it was there. And that was probably when I was four, five. And I was like, mom, I don't want to see something. And my mom was like, 
don't worry, they can't harm you. Like, and then fast forward like several, several years later, I'm talking to my mom about this because I'm coming here and just like out of curiosity, like, hey, have you had any experiences? And she's like, yeah, when I was 12, when I was your age, when you saw your shadow man, I saw what I believe was my guardian angel. And I was like, why didn't I get a guardian angel? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> but uh, what did she say that her guardian angel looked like? Did she say? Um, same thing, same figure, but pure white light. Oh, no, yes. didn't feel any bad vibes, aura, anything. Just completely calm. Totally just washed over her. Was like, hey, I'm almost like a hey, I'm checking in on you. Like a a good like somebody who cares like if you're sick like yeah. they check up on you yeah so like it was almost like that for her and this was at the same exact time that happened to you same age oh same age yeah. got it okay that makes more sense same age when she was 12 and then fast forward several years and then i'm 12 i have the same experience but the opposite yeah but i've also i i believe it was patty that told me this she was like you know the shadow man could not you know, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. Like, you know, thousands of people see the shadow man. Like it could be just a type of spirit and, you know, they're not always bad. Like, you know, there's multiple of them. Some can be good. Some can be bad. And when I was younger, I thought that mine was bad and evil. But as I've gotten older, like, I don't think it's really done anything to harm me. And Patty's, you know, told me like, why don't you try talking to him? Why don't you talk to your shadow man? And I want to, but I'm scared. So I won't do it yet. (laughs) The whole Cold Stone, Steve Austin thing. Yeah, basically me, like, <laughs> standing there. Like, it's it's right here, and I'm just like, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? That's like, wild. I wasn't scared. I just sat there and, like, watched it out of the corner of my eye. Like, every time I would turn to look at it, it'd be gone. Mm. And I'm like, why don't you look at me face on? Like, what are you so scared about? Like, look at me. <laughs> Words that Corey has never spoken to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would love to do that. I would love to do you can, that. Let's do it. How about tonight what? when we investigate? Tonight what? Tonight when we investigate, do that. The, if look you, at if, a ghost? If you see a spirit. Oh, well, that's what we're, we're... I'm trying to look at a spirit. That's what I'm trying to but do. But I'm saying when you do see it... Just stare at it? What are you looking yeah, at? Just but in your voice. What are you, what you looking, looking at, at honey? Huh? 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 Touch the K2 if I'm really looking at you right now. <laughs> huh? I can't hear you. You got to talk through the spirit box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we could try it. We could try it. Yeah, yeah. We might get lucky. But um, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, That's thank fair. you. Yeah, it's it's a cool uh, yeah, round, round of applause. We live, correct? Liz. Yeah, please. No, no, no. Um, can can we get like ten people to hold her hand to make sure she can get off the stage please. safely, please? <laughs> well, let's watch. And she did round new round of applause. Let's everybody. go. There y'all. we go. <laughs> new round of applause. Well, I think I think we should maybe learn a little bit about where we are for just a moment. Um, so we'd love to bring on uh, Tamara, who is the owner of Pythian Castle, learn a little bit about the room that we're sitting in, this very haunted room where we've seen some wild pictures taken here. Yeah. Um, so with it, can you give a, a round of applause, everyone, for, for Tamara? Oh, look at you guys. You're very cute over there. It's cute. Oh, thank you. Wow. <laughs> you guys haven't said anything about yeah. that. <laughs> So my understanding is you like to stay out of the limelight a little bit about owning this place. And and not only do you own it, you live here. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, all of the above. So uh, there's a m- multiple reasons why. But usually I get a lot more work done if you guys don't know I own the place. So as soon as you know, then I might have to tell my staff like, hey, now you got to do the job that I was going to do for you. <laughs> right? I don't know how you guys came across this place. I'm from the same part of the world that you are from, right? I'm originally Californian. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can go. Yeah. But I moved to the middle of the country. <laughs> That's what Californians do. Yeah, go. Yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. the rest of them are like, go home. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, they don't like us moving to the middle of the country. So, uh, but I don't know about you. How many castles are there in California? One. Oh, the white Preston castle? Preston Castle. Oh. There's not very many, right? Yeah. You see a stone castle, you think you have to go to Europe, you know what I mean? So I found one in America. Yeah. So And you just bought a castle? Bought a castle. May, may yeah, I ask so this how one guy says, you know, he tries to tell his friends I ditched him from California to buy a castle. And I said, You told them the real reasons, right? He's like, No, I don't tell them those because that'd make me look bad. 
<laughs> so now we ended up with you know a castle here. That's pretty cool though. Now I personally think I don't know how many people buy property, but I think this is maybe this is my pre ghost experiences. Is I think buildings talk to you. Like if you're gonna buy a building, you're gonna walk in and it's either gonna say like new, no, mm. not my house, not my place, and the other one's gonna go oh yeah, this is it, right? So the other houses I bought before this were like this is it. This ones are definitely no. And when I got in this place, I mean, everybody thought I was crazy. As crazy, I walked through it for 30 minutes and said, I take it. Really? Did you yeah. negotiate? Did you even like try and haggle the price down? Not really. Turns out everybody else walked through this thing and was like, they had an experience and they're running out and you're like, ah, get me out of here. Yeah, they-, they Did were, you know that prior no, to buying it? I have the foggiest notion that they were running out scared. And then of course- it wasn't long after it. How long? Maybe a month here? I don't know. I mean, I had my first experience. And it was like, oh. So. What was your first experience? Yeah, what was now, it? Okay. Well, it was in the lobby. Ah, yes. Yeah. We know that The area. lobby's very active. I think people come and they go. Like, you guys remember you were mixing and mingling for a long time before we got here, right? Right in that area? Yeah. I heard a female's voice just say, Hello. Naturally, I start looking around the building for anybody who's talking to me. There's nobody here. I look in the parking lot for cars. I literally spent 15 minutes looking for somebody I couldn't find. Mm. Then, of course, everybody else comes in to work a little bit later. I'm like, so then you try and tell them what happened to you. And people are like, yeah, right. You know, they're yep. like, all right, someone's been. Sorry, but I think that was my first. I think that's my first ghost experience, but I don't know. When you bought this place, did you have any desire to open it up for paranormal investigations? Oh, no, was not that at even all. a notion? No, I mean, no, no. It, people kept wanting to come here for it, and we're like, we're like, you want to what? <laughs> I'm like, okay. Um, but then the city went crazy because there's ghosts here. So anyway, it's the it city went us- crazy, like in a bad way, or the city was like, we all want to get in here. No. Oh, they did not. The city. No, it oh, took the me city. Seven hated. years to get a license to use it. Whoa! Seven, wow. and three out of the seven closed as a dangerous building. I basically owned a pet rock for three years, and the big deal was the ghost. I couldn't say it. People wanted to be on TV. I kept saying, "No, no, don't mention it. Don't mention the word ghost." You know what I mean? So really, yeah, they it just sent them in a tailspin. You know what's so wild about that? When you uh, go to Expedia or like mm-hmm. any kind of travel site to book something to Springfield. This is what pops up as a thumbnail. Like That's when I booked his flight into Springfield, yeah. like it just- don't, don't tell the city, just kidding. Yeah, it just, it's pit, like, this is like, I think like the number one notable site in the city now, according to like every, like Google search engine. That's funny, yeah, well, but yeah, literally it's, if it, because we, from other people coming. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they don't like ghosts. <laughs> I don't know. They don't like them. I don't know. I, what's wrong with them? Have you guys had some nice experience with some ghosts? I Have you ever invited them? I, Have you invited like city hall over, like the mayor? Or anyone like that? Oh, yeah, for a seance. Don't laugh. Don't yeah. laugh. To try and get my license, I actually tried to run for mayor. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, you want to do it again and we'll, we'll uh, help it's, you? It's, we'll run your if campaign. If you haven't run for office, it's a very fun experience. I've never did it before, but I feel very American that I tried. <laughs> but it was very funny. It was it was funny because it was a... I was running out of options of how to get my business license. You know, I was like, man, what do you got to do around here to get a $25 business license? You know what I mean? I was really standing on my head, but it was a... It was an interesting tactic. They thought I, they had beaten me down. And then I show up, I was like, there's no money to run for office. You just got to get some signatures, right? And so there I was, like a minute before the deadline to change your signatures, like, boom. And then I, I got to tell my story. Like, I was a happy, I chose to move here to Springfield candidate. You know, for mm. all the wonderful things. Was that a things. lie or did you? I lost that- miserably. <laughs> there, there was a woman who was literally dressed as a cat, like cat ears, a cat tail. I barely beat her. <laughs> what? Barely beat her. But it made my point. They finally said, oh my God, we got to give this lady a business license at some point. You know mm. what I mean? They had to give me a business license. It didn't matter. Yeah. I mean, I was on a radio with three city attorneys who were trying to block it. And that was like the lady they hated. Anyway, so, um, but eventually they sort of had to deal with it. So, so, the, so far wow. we've been open since 2010. So we literally yeah. just spoke about how we feel like it's very forbidden to talk about paranormal stories and here you are having no, an entire like, city you had to run for mayor you had to buy the castle and they yeah. blocked you for seven years yeah three attorneys the top three attorneys on the radio trying to talk me down yeah wow and when we got open i had to pay fire marshals time and a half to tick or tape people coming in the building because they you know, were dangerous right you know what i mean they wouldn't let more than 60 people in the building wow 
And I'm like laughing, like, you know, fit the plane that you flew in in my lobby. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like. That's why. So it's that taboo here. Yeah. Is that how, how many wow. of you for, are from Springfield? People that are here. Make noise. Por favor. Okay. And have you felt that? Have, has anyone felt that it's like taboo to, to talk about the paranormal in this town? We're in the Bible Belt. Oh, oh. the Bible Belt. That yeah. makes a lot more sense. Suspicious. Say that again. Are suspicious. Oh. I didn't know that, but I mean, I, I now know. Yeah. yeah, you get they let you know. Um, but I, you know, what did I know? That I thought what you guys were doing was looked like good, clean fun to me. I was like, I don't know, no, it's better than those frat parties. I was like, come on, I'm going to go with these guys. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And they, yeah, they were the, the ghosts. I mean, I, I don't know about your ghost experiences, but the ones in here have been pretty nice. Um, I have the lady saying hi to me. We've got some little kids. I they tell me the guys who founded the place kind of are okay with me and protect me because I def- kept their building from being demolished. It was literally that close to being grazed. I don't think we have demons and things. I don't really like that talk, but if you like that, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, That's I, I like too. Casper the ghost. I like the ones, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, even though you're saying that you don't have anything evil, demonic here, are there any, is there like a one particular story that stands out that you've heard or experienced that's just like that typical horror movie scary encounter like has that happened here i do live here so things happen at that 3 a.m hour of the day i've come to realize that uh probably one of the most scariest things i had is when i went to bed and i heard the sound of gunshots like like sounded like silencer gunshots i don't know what you people would do but i stood sat up in my bed like my eyes opened up wide as saucers and then i saw this giant man at the end of my bed dressed in army fatigue staring me down whoa and i don't know what you people would do but i was like oh no honey i am way too tired for this tonight (laughs) (laughs) you are not gonna uh, uh, no you're just (laughs) That's your new tactic, dude. <laughs> next, next time we're talking oh, no. to some people, you're like, no, no, know. no, honey. Mm-mm. 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 Honey, Mm-mm. no, I am too tired and I look too fucking good tonight. Yeah, yeah. I am not. <laughs> not <laughs> today. I'm not dealing with you tonight, Not Satan. today. No. Off. Yeah. I don't know if I, would, if I wasn't tired, what I would do when I run scared. I have no idea, but I was way too exhausted. I'm like, oh, no. Not, yeah. And did that work wow. or was he like, no, wait, Apparently they, somebody says that's what you can do. You can kind of stand up to them. So they're trying to intimidate you. And if you just kind of say, hey, back off, hey. And I then I thought, I'm in one of those rooms that the military folks used to sit in. So maybe I should clean it up. Maybe it's not military clean. So the next day I was like, no, 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 no. You know what I mean? Maybe mm. they were a little grumpy about it. So I thought. Wow. Yeah, yeah. this place has like a wildly hybrided history. And like this room in particular, if I'm not mistaken, was a funeral parlor. At one well, point. it's one purpose. I mean, you guys well, are sitting in a point. building that was built by a fraternal order called the Knights of Pythias. They built it to house children and old folks. And they wanted to be fireproof. So it's a yeah, castle. It's fireproof. And of course, it was part of their imagery to be a castle. So that's why it, it looks like this. The military took it over in World War II. And they, op- they owned it for 50 years. And then there was that social service organization. You guys might know OCAC, who op- operated here for a good 13 years. So you can actually come to this building for your annual exams during that time. Wow. Yeah. So we got people from the original time period, we think, the military time period. And then this was their, uh, I would say they did a lot of church services in this room originally, because you had to believe in some sort of faith to be a Knights of Pythias. You also had to be a white male back then. So that was part of the stipulations. Um, and then they did Christmas parties, birthday parties, but they did the funerals for anybody who died here. Yeah. Got it. So there was over 100 people. They were just mostly old people dying of old age and had a few kids. Oh, I just thought of a really good people. pun, but I should have said it like 10 minutes ago. This would have been great earlier. Uh, what? No. Wow. I know why uh, they didn't want you to be mayor. Oh, really? Because they didn't want it to be a ghost town. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can continue with the story now. I Don't applaud. Take that. Can everyone me. reverse okay. applaud? Yeah. Please reverse applaud, yeah. everyone. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how funny. That's good. I like Was that. Was that good? Yeah, I love okay, it. Okay, thank yeah. you. If you have any desire to run for mayor again, please let us know. I would how love funny. to design a campaign for you. You know, it's it's fun. It actually was. We get knocking on doors and talking to people. You um, should move uh, the, the city capital here. 
What's that? City Hall should move to here. How amazing so? that would be if, so? if Springfield City Hall was actually, actually in the castle. They actually installed those metal detectors when I ran for mayor in the city council, Lily. Wait, because of you? Yeah, yeah, they thought I was. Did they not know ghosts can just well, go right through before it? I did, <laughs> right before I did this, somebody shot up a bunch of council members in the town called Kirkwood. Oh. Oh. So the town was like, oh, we kind of pissed her off. What's she going to do? You know what I mean? So I thought, man. Oh. Yeah. Then I just try to sell them. I'm just one of those people, you know, from California who's a little bit of a liberal. So, no, I don't have any guns, people. So, you know what I mean? Like, you know, so I just, I just literally, I just want a $25 business license. That's all I'm asking. And you <laughs> got it. And you got 20. it. And now people hear all the time, right? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, we've actually, it's, it's be, well, ghosts has taken us over, I would say. But we get a lot of ghost people coming here, you know. Like I said, they're fun people. What can you do? You know, they're, yeah. they're good. Yeah, folks. that's really cool. That's, that's, we've had that's, some weddings, but, you know, sometimes the ghosts show up. Oh, Wait, what? you have to tell me about Hold that. Hold on, ghosts have shown up during weddings? Well, you know, things happen. So I don't know for the best wedding venue if you want, you know. All right, you're not selling in. your business very well right <laughs> There's now. There's just a pillow with the, the rings <laughs> floating down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we can't, you know, can't tell they're going to show up or not show Wait, up. Wait, hold on, something actually happened. Something paranormal has happened during a wedding here? Well, some of the people that come here probably are those kind of people. So stuff happens to them, you know. So. Ah, okay. Yeah, like one kid's like, yeah, mommy, there's a lady in white in the bathroom, you know. And That's the bride. <laughs> no, they... <laughs> yeah. Come on, ah. Timmy, get your head in the game. <laughs> I know, they did wear white for the wedding, and the, yeah, the, mo the bride and the kid were wearing the white, but yeah. also the old people here, the ones back in the original time period, wear white dresses, so... Oh, okay, okay. And they're like, yeah, that's our kid, she sees people, hmm. you know. <laughs> Dude, a lot of a lot of kids do be. Kids seeing have a special ghosts. sensitivity. We they have the do. cutest, cute ghost story in here. Like a little kid, like four year olds old, comes on a ghost story. You know, you don't really want them on your tour, right? Because they're they're noisy and they make a lot of noise. So the parents took the kid outside because he was getting a little eh, noisy. And so the mom's out in the lobby, just like in a moment like this. And then the other tour person walks by. The kids like, "Do you see ghosts?" And we like to be nice to kids because. I they don't. see people. I don't like. Well, no, I mean, I don't like, like them. They're annoying. We don't tell them. If there's any kids here, I'm sorry. Yeah, I they, like you. You haven't given birth yet. Okay. <laughs> I haven't given birth. Yeah, I'm not going to. That would be, an, <laughs> dude. I would be so proud of you. What? If you gave birth. Give birth. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We don't want to. If they they feel spirit, we want them to. We're not gonna tell them. No, you're crazy, kid. Right. So they. This one person who actually was my mom. No, everybody else sees them, but I don't. You know, which is a lie because she seen him here mm. but the kid says well there's one right over there right? Yep. and so she just goes S well is it saying anything to you and she, he's like oh yes mine's your mother <laughs> that kid sounds so creepy <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> well, you're the Mind next time you're gonna mother. want a kid on your tour, right? Because they're gonna bring on the creepy part. Yeah, right? I actually have something. So that you guys I can are coming. Th this bird thing is kind of spooking me out because we used to hear things hit the window here a lot and go outside and think, oh, there's a bird hitting the window or something like that. We can't find the dead bird. Mm. But mm. yeah, so the, you're, you're saying birds hitting glass is or. Hitting things is a sign? Apparently, that is what I have just recently learned. Or it's good luck, and we just don't know it yet. You love yeah. lying to yourself. It's, it's, yes. it's your favorite thing to do. It is. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is. It well, is. you're here on a very creepy anniversary time for us, so it's an anniversary of a death here, so we are, you know, we're all around here kind of spooked. Yeah, we've added to the death certificate book. Last year, this is the anniversary my mom died here. I'm oh, probably, here. Oh. Yeah, so the fact that you're hearing all these birds flapping and dying, I'm like, oh boy. Here mm. she is making her scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't want to be left out of the party. If say it is your mother that's also still here, is that something you would be I'm okay with welcoming to? Me. Yeah, I'm like, I tell all my grandparents, my grand, like, you guys want to help out with the business, just come here, hang out, and go, you know, haunt people. Right? That's a good oh point. My, that's so funny. That yeah, right. ask your parents. Like, we've gotten so used to the ghosts here helping us out we literally ask them questions now like when you lose something yeah or like you, you got a puzzle in your brain like you don't know what to solve so you just go what would you people do and literally bing, some stupid idea pops in your head i don't take credit for it anymore i just don't you know i don't go hey that was my great idea no it had to be either the founders or the military party somebody they just pop things in your head so we just Whoa. ask them now do you have like a communal living workshop space Cons now. Yes, consultants. Mm -hmm. 
Ghost consultants. Makes sense. Remember earlier I was saying I wish I had a ghost accountant just to do my taxes. Oh, yeah. Just get, make sure my books are all lined up. Yeah. yeah. I, I, oh, that would be good. <laughs> oh, I don't have that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would like that. I, we're just like talking about like, oh, how do you fix the air conditioner? Okay. Yeah. yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. That'd be great. <laughs> I, I, I have to say something real quick, just because we were talking about how little kids can talk and see spirits. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell you about this, <gasps> but this was about a month or so ago when we were at the Stanley. Okay. And I go and I get in the elevator and it's about to close. And this little girl, she puts her hand and stops it. And she goes, is it okay if I get in here with you? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. So she gets in and the door closes. And in the elevator, you know, we press the number, but it's not moving. And I'm like, I wonder why it's not moving. And she goes, oh, it's the kids. And I go, what do you mean it's the kids? She goes, it's the kids here. I've been hanging out with them. And I was like, okay. And she's like, yeah, they're on the, oh, I don't remember what floor she said. She's like, they're on the third floor or something like that. And I was like, all right. So then it goes up and then she gets out and she walks away. But then she comes back and looks at me and she goes, they like you and then runs away. <laughs> this is all off camera. Like, I don't even know if that little girl was real. <laughs> like for weeks, I'm like, was that a real person? Wait, so you don't even know if the, the girl that said the ghost like you could have also been, been a, a ghost. ghost. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You have no idea. No, I don't. If, yeah. if I, I have don't. a kid, I am going to intentionally have this kid pretend it sees ghosts all the time to just terrify <laughs> everybody just like in walmart <laughs> just everywhere you go just be like yeah the old man behind you he likes you a lot <laughs> and just scram away really quick <laughs> no you should teach him how to do a back bend and crawl oh yeah, yeah but i'll put him in a gymnastics class just for that exact reason yeah yeah now you should do that like like tell him to go up to people and just be like hey don't open your front door tomorrow <laughs> and they're just gonna stay inside the whole time but i want to make sure he's wearing like a little bow tie and like a checkered shirt just like the most uh, innocent innocent looking kid uh, possible yeah okay. that's a good idea what's what's scarier uh, a ghost a uh, boy or a ghost girl like the like the shining twins well, yeah, that's probably why it's the Shining Twins or the two girls. Yeah. It'd be a lot different if it was two boys. Yeah. Because they wouldn't have ridden their, their tricycles very well. They would have just been like riding the tricycle with crayons down the wall, just <laughs> destroying the hotel. 100%. Oh. oh, man. You guys are way too much fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, least fun. Oh, damn. <laughs> you guys are just so much fun. Oh, yeah. yeah really. but, I don't, but I was like, oh, gosh. I, I probably overstepped my welcome here. So I know you guys got a show to run. So no, you're good. But we, um, we sincerely appreciate. I know that when we asked you, you were like, sure. It's not a very common know. thing, but yeah. well, yeah, you know, I, like you. I said, I don't want to be closed for seven more years. You know what I mean? That's good. To hear. No, but but it's it's <laughs> it, honestly truly, it's like I didn't know about that that fight with the city to get the that's license here. I had no idea about that. Yeah. So to me, that's it's a really cool thing to hear, and it shows that like how much resistance there is. It's to yeah. the paranormal and the welcoming of the yeah, paranormal. Yeah, they try to stop the people up in Jeff City. Oh, really? Wait, yeah, Missouri State Pen? Yeah, the pen. And then oh, and I love working. that place. Now they've changed their mind. They've decided it's a good business. And now they, yeah, wow. they've, yeah. they've changed their mind now. They're, they're, they're now welcoming it. Wow. Yeah, it's well, taking us a long time, but we're getting there, right? We're getting there. They're going to. Yeah, it's cool. But sincerely, thank you. We really appreciate it. No thank you, you guys. Enjoy sharing. your yeah. evening with these guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay, one more time for, for Tamara, everyone. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Um, wow, there's a lot. That's that's quite a few. All right, it's a good amount of questions. Uh, here, uh, let's. Uh, that's pick, enough questions pick, for pick a Q two each. Pick two each, huh? This is a uh, Isabella again, huh? Is this your? Oh, I'm curious to know if this is the question. This is uh, how has TFIL changed your life? Is that yours? That is your question. Wow, that's wild. Um, do you want to answer? Ooh, I, I will say I TFIL led it. to the overnight channel. Yeah, like TFIL did, you know, breed uh, create. The it did, channel. but TFIL, aka you literally have <laughs> gave me like all right now it sounds like i set you up to like experience. Oh, like <laughs> praise me dude <laughs> well i'm about to real quick for real do you've gave me experiences and memories that are so rare to to live dude like the stories that i go back home and i'll tell my family and all of their jaws will just be dropped and they'll just be telling me like do you understand like how lucky you are to be able to travel and do that and like sometimes you know i won't be thinking about how lucky i am like i just look at it as you know like half of it's like work and half of it's like fun but when i seriously think about it i'm like did we really do that yeah 
And it's just, I don't like you kind of screwed me in a way as well. Cause what am I going to do when on. I'm older? Huh? Not, 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 not that trip. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm talking about yeah, something yeah, yeah. else. Okay, cool. When I, how am I going to top TFIL trips when I'm older? Think about that. You're going to be calling me be like, Hey, I got, I got two kids. Uh, <laughs> Disneyland's not going to cut it. What country are we going to plan it for me now? <laughs> no, dude, I'm going to be stuck in that situation because I'm going to take my wife and kids on a cruise and they're going to be like, but dad, you fed the lions with <laughs> Elton. Why can't we feed the lions while going down the slip and slide? Like, dude, <laughs> the memories that you've gave me are honestly I also like, incredible. I love that you basically have no ability to lie to your kids about how cool you were. You're like, oh yeah, there's one time Time, I was like, I was in the face of a lion and like, I didn't say a thing. And then they're going to like watch the video and be like, really? This is you screaming a little bitch, dad. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was a, it was a skit. That's why are you always screaming him. Elton? Like what is like, why? <laughs> Where's uncle Elton dad? <laughs> but I'll say, and this is kind of uh, how, you know, answering the question, it's mutual. Cause like TFIL and the trips we went on wouldn't have been the same without you. <gasps> Everybody you, you say, aw. Everybody <laughs> say, aw. But you know what, you know what I mean? Like the, Look, like you can go do the coolest things in the world and you can go go hunting or swimming with dolphins or bungee jumping. But if you're not doing it with the people that you care about and make it fun, that's that's what it's really about. Like the activity you're doing is 10 percent. It's 90 percent of who you're doing it with. Um, wow. So I, I'll say that, like the way TFIL changed my life is like it allowed me to find a way to do all these really cool experiences with my best friends. Yep. You know, and even like Evan, who's like our camera guy that has filmed it and like, and Jonah who's jumped on board and we've been able to go to all these amazing places. Um, and it's also because all of you watch TFIL, I'm assuming and overnight it allowed us to keep going to more places. Mm -hmm. Cause like had that first trip not gone well and no one would have watched it, we would have ran out of money and we wouldn't have been able to keep going. Yeah. Well, you would have ran out of money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been like, Oh, Hey, Elton, I'm going on a cruise. <laughs> I'm like I'm going to go post on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it allowed this kind of like cool acceleration. And I think I grew a lot. Um, now we do these things called like travel with TFIL trips where like little people can kind of like this, you know, but people join us for like eight days in different countries. Yeah. And I think that has like tremendously changed me and improved me as a human being, um, spending that much time with complete strangers and like finding ways to connect with them and help them connect with other people. Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's really cool. And I think without TFIL, I don't think this would have been a possibility. Like if we just became like a ghost hunting YouTube channel, mm -hmm. we wouldn't have had that background of meeting strangers and like made this yeah. a reality. So it's kind of a, a really cool thing. Yeah. But also who knows how close we would have been if we didn't do TFIL. That's very true. Yeah. I guess it kind of helped me find my best friend. Oh my God. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Thank you so much, honey. Yeah. You're welcome, kid. Don't get used to it. <laughs> All right. What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your question? <laughs> Ooh, what was the hardest location to get permission to investigate it? Uh, I mean, I, that, to me, the you, ooh, wait, hold on, uh, that's difficult. Uh, Alcatraz yeah. was difficult. Alcatraz took a while. Um, it's a national park, so a lot of permits you have to go through. But I mean, ultimately, it's Warren Museum. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was four years, three and a half years of like every just checking in every six months, just hey. Hey, and then out of nowhere, just getting a, a Facebook message that's like, hey, you still want to do this? Um, Cecil was pretty yeah. difficult, yeah. but uh, we pulled that off. I think it was just literally us and Zach Bagan's team that had permission to be there. Mm -hmm. So pulling that off was super cool. Yeah, definitely Warren was insane. Well, yeah, Warren was the hardest for sure. But uh, yeah, I actually, you know, not, not sounding like arrogant or whatever, but I actually feel like there's almost every location out there we can get now. I feel like any location that like we, we want to get, like we, we know enough now and we have all the insurance and we have yeah. like a good rapport with like every place we've ever been to Yeah, that like, we're like, they're like, Oh, we're not sure if we want you. I'm like, call anyone, call any location and they'll pick up the phone and be like, yeah, they're super nice dudes. Yeah. Like, yeah, they brought a dipic box, but you know, they're nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Oh my God. I'm not, I'm, I'm, that's not even, that's not even a question. I'm not going to do Wait, that. Can I read it? Yeah, can go I ahead read and read it. it. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing says. that. It's not even a question. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> what dude? You can, you want to do it? No. How about you do it? And I just pick a random, how about this? If you do it, then I get to just pick one random person to come up here and they also have to do it, but they don't know what it is. Okay. Is that fair? I, it's a really weird, uh, uh, uh request. But if you guys want Corey to do it, can I just pick a random person in the crowd and bring you up here? Okay, raise your hand if we can pick you. 
but now I'm going to pick someone who didn't raise their hand. No, nope, oh. I'm sorry. That's not how it works. Wait. Mr. Gages. You have gauges in your backwards hat with a beard. Come on up here. <laughs> Welcome to the live show. Welcome no one's safe. <laughs> now, hey, Marty, do you have, a, you have your laptop open? Can you play some uh, royalty-free uh, house EDM for me, please? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, seriously, dude. <laughs> royalty-free house EDM. What's your name, bro? Corey. Co no way! <laughs> yes! Yes! Corey versus Corey? And here's the best part. It's a demonic dare dance-off between Corey and Corey. Are you kidding me? Wow. Amazing. Wow. Just bump it, bro. All right. Here we go. Hey, guys. Welcome uh, to the Overnight Podcast. We are a serious paranormal channel. We're about to have a dance-off. <laughs> and once was a funeral home by the Knights of Pythias. Who should go first? Bump it a little louder. Bump it a little louder. Oh. <laughs> hey, man. Channel those spirits right now. This used to be a ballroom. I want you to take in that spirit energy and bring it to the floor. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now twerk. Twerk. I have no ass to twerk. I believe in you. You can do it. Twerk. He just starts twerk. <laughs> Look, I made the audience clap. Now it's your turn. <laughs> All right, give it up for Corey versus wow. Corey. Wow, dude, that was great. Wow. I haven't done a duo in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Who do y'all think won, Corey or Corey? Corey. Yeah, definitely. I knew it. Yeah, yeah. Corey definitely got it. Corey definitely won. Uh, I think you got one more question, bud. Ooh. <laughs> Where do you see your career in the next five years? Ghost hunting. Seriously. <laughs> Better keep catching them ghosts, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I could not imagine five years from now not ghost hunting. You know, maybe it'd be super cool that we got like a show or maybe like a documentary about us one day, but I kind of like Dibbic Box doing. House. Dibbic Box House? <laughs> the Dibbic House. There's your documentary about us. <laughs> that could that could be a show. I've gotten into producing, and so, you know, I definitely, I want to keep making music. I love making beats. But that was his track, by the way. He just wanted to admit it. Yeah. You guys can look it up. <laughs> Euphoric EDM is Corey's jam. <laughs> just go, go on uh, YouTube and type in Yu-Gi-Oh theme. <laughs> that was my song, but... uh. Yeah, I just kind of want to keep producing, you know. I've been DJing a lot as well. Keep doing some, like, DJ events, maybe DJ somewhere big like Coachella. But I just want to continue doing ghost hunting, honestly. I, I will vouch for that. Um, we've had so many conversations where he's just like, I don't think I could go, like, the rest of my life without ghost hunting. He he He's loved this, like, for his entire life. Yeah, um, I think it happened for a reason. Yeah. I mean, it's really weird that like when we moved in together, like I had no idea that you liked this and you had no idea that I liked horror movies and here we are now we're hybriding our worlds together. Mm -hmm. So just like a Tesla, cool. just like a Tesla. Tesla's not a hybrid, dude. It's it just could be what talk to Elon, not me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, I think for me, was it five years? Is that, mm -hmm. that was the thing? Four and a half, four and a half years. I think for me, the, the main goal, um, which is like something I've, tried doing and I've tried doing and I've tried doing, but every time I try doing it, we put more and more time into TFIL or overnight. And before you know it, I'm like, when am I going to do this? Um, but I think we're at a point now with overnight where we're about 20 weeks ahead on videos. Uh, we're sourcing editors, like we're finally dialing it in. Then we have all of these that we're filming and we'll finally get to a point where I think we can be ahead enough in the uploads and committing to the overnight channel, because by committing to overnight, TFIL kind of died, um, to finally find a balance where all these channels can go. But the main thing I really, really want to do is I want to do a horror movie, a thriller movie, a paranormal movie. It's what I've always wanted to do. Um, but it's just like one of those things where like, if I'm going to do it, I know you have one chance, right? Like 
Yeah. You, you have to come out with the absolute best thing you can do. And I can't make the best movie possible while also doing all these other things. True. Very true. When, when, do, when do you think you'd make the movie? Do you have a goal, like a date? I mean, I really genuinely want to try and do it next year. Like, even if it means just, start, just starting production next year, knowing that it's like a year-long process. Dude, if you come out with a movie, I'm definitely going to watch it. I would hope so. Thank you. <laughs> you I live with you. <laughs> you imagine if I came home and you're like, nah, dude, sorry, busy. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, Just dog. playing Rocket League with no headphones and no, no audio. <laughs> sorry, dog. Sorry, dude, super busy today. <laughs> Doing flip resets. <laughs> You guys know what that is? No. <laughs> Someone said yes. You play Rocket League? All right, I'm going to add you. But uh, yeah, five years, I think uh, the new TFIL idea that, that started a while back would be love to have that going full fledged. And then, uh, yeah, a, a horror movie, paranormal movie, something in that world. It has to happen. There's so many yeah. ideas that are just like sitting on the table. Yeah. Um, and maybe so. I could play like. Like you would die first. The house pet. I, you, you're the comedic relief that dies first. That's definitely. Oh. You want to voice over a house pet? <laughs> yeah, I thought I could be the dog or something. <laughs> like I could like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because for each word, people normally get paid a lot in uh, movies. So and, like and woof, woof, woof is a word. That's four. <laughs> <laughs> but sincerely, thank you all for being here. I hope you had I hope you had fun. Uh, you can turn the air back on if you want. Uh, and, I mean, they're all going to leave right now anyway. Everyone cheer. Yeah. <laughs> AC. <laughs> Yo, the air conditioning just got a bigger applause than anyone tonight. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hot.